fans watching around the world. This is the moment you've all been waiting for. It is... Let's get straight into the episode. Oh. Yeah, yeah, we heading for the sun Shawty got my high, I ain't trippin' for the fun Yeah, I won't start, I ain't trippin' on my stun Imagine if I did every podcast, trying to catch a vibe, yeah, we headed to the sun <laughs> And I just, like, continue it Right, that would be good <laughs> Oh, fuck, I gotta, I'll wake up a little bit I got this Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for clicking on another episode of the Docs Cast. It is the Swapcast for episode 40 there is no need for an introduction. As everyone knows, you've met my guest today. I'm very thankful to have him over, coming over and taking on my role, sitting in my seat. This is Joshua Nix. <laughs> Wait, do you want to get something to eat? No. Bro, you are fucked. Dude, I trust me. I'll wake up. I just need to get in the zone. I'll, I'll right, be good. I'll be good. Your eyes are fucked, eh? I just told you. I just smashed a whole pack of Tim Dan. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why you're dying. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. All right, before we start and we get our notes and shit ready, you know what we have to do? Swap seats. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is that your... I liked it. I liked it. <laughs> Did you like it? I, did, I thought you were doing a practice run. No, there's no practice for me anymore, mate. Ah, suck, bro. I'm nervous here. Oh, my favourite seat, dude. Fuck yeah. Let me get comfortable. Honestly, I love this seat, dude. <laughs> it's so good to sit over here. Everyone, this thing, you just have a great spot. He's lying. <laughs> this seat is so much more comfortable. No, it's not. Bro. No, it's not. That seat creaks, bro. Right, this seat is way better than that one. Dude, wait until you feel it. Every time you move, the seat's going to go... Arr, arr. I have to sit so still <laughs> over there. Nah. He's lying. This seat is the best. That one I was sitting before, I was like, bro, what is this? I'm so happy I'm not sitting in that seat for three hours. That's (laughs) fucked. Oh, no. Dude, I was meant Damo was going to come fill in for this episode. Shout out to Damo. I know you're listening, Damo. Um, He's going to do episode 50. And and I'm like, dude, I promised you I'd have more seats. I don't. I was like, you can't come do it. (laughs) No matter what, you can't. Can't break that. Wait, you need to get a bigger table already. You've been talking about it for a long time. I know, I know, I know. It's a bit hard being in fucking Newcastle, dude. I can't build something more <laughs> there, all right? All right, well, we'll get to that. So with that, all right. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Swapcast, episode 40. Nice, I like this intro. Today I have one of my closest and best mates who's the most inspirational, most creative person I know who's had such an amazing journey with his life and now his podcast. He has my name tattooed on his head, and I like just saying that as much as possible. This is Jake Doxby. Oh, yeah, to do me with the middle name and everything. Oh, everyone, let's take a home round of applause. Nick's got through that on the first try. I loved it. Thank you, Barry. Thank you very much. I I loved it. I loved it. You had to bring up the middle name, bro. You had to bring up the middle name. However, I know you're going to believe that out. (laughs) Good idea. And I want you to do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I will do that. I like that. I like that. Well, thank you, bro. Thank you for your kind words. I don't consider myself to be the most inspirational or creative person that anyone knows, but I do really, really appreciate it. I do. Well, you're just being humble because I think you're inspirational to a lot of people. So. Thanks, bro. Thank you. Oh, fuck, actually, mate. All right, I'll enjoy this. I'm going to sit in that feeling. And I'm going to be like, fuck, yeah, I am. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. feels good being in that seat. Side yeah. the chair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nah, fuck, yeah, dude. You know what I also thought today? I was thinking, as I was falling asleep, I was like, I rec- no matter what, I know Nixie's going to come prepared for this podcast. A hundred percent, bro, you're that person. You're like, you're never going to show up unprepared. So hundred percent. I do appreciate you coming over. I really do. I- I'm excited for our, our swap cast. So have I. Yeah. After, I think 40 episodes now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. I know. Do you reckon you'll watch this one? Oh, I mean, still haven't watched mine, the yeah. last one. You know what? That's the only episode I haven't finished. <laughs> no. And that still burns I me. I love but... telling people that. <laughs> I love telling people that. I just can't. Like, listening to my voice and, like, all the things that I just hate. I'm like, oh, why do I keep saying that? Why do I keep saying that? <laughs> yeah, I know. Like, it's just impossible for me to listen to. <laughs> I know. I just think, bro, when I'm watching myself back, I just accept it. I just think, this is me. <laughs> 
and I love it, bro. I love listening to myself back. I can't wait. I just the other person talks, I just go fast forward. <laughs> well, they see me, I go, oh, quick, rewind, watch me. I just move, oh, bro. It's the best. Hit that skip button. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's sick. But yeah, because it's cool. It's it's a weird feeling because like mm. I get to edit it, so it's like I get to make myself out to be the best version of myself <laughs> I can on camera. But then when the other person's talking, I have to make it so what I think of the them as the best version of themselves. So people watch themselves, they don't get to decide it's the best version. This is what I think of them, you know. It's a weird feeling, but I just try and keep it as natural as possible. The only time I like cutting shit out is when like people say like, I'm going to cut this out. Like I just <laughs> fucked this. I don't know, it's something fucked up. Oh, I'll tell you a joke. I'll yeah. tell you a joke. You'll get this. I'll go, go, good one. I'm going to tell you, then you tell me how much of it I should beep out. Okay. All right. How do you. But that whole thing's going to be bleeped. <laughs> <laughs> What's the point of saying that? It's for you. I don't want you to say the punchline either. Cause it's for you. It's just going to. That's just going to annoy everyone. <laughs> All right, ready? <laughs> just be happy that you didn't hear that <laughs> the worst joke i've ever heard bro i'd probably rather listen to a beep than that again <laughs> well okay uh, uh, so five minutes in and we're already at that yeah i know five minutes in we're already <laughs> in a section that no one understands <laughs> and yeah and then yeah all right all right that's fine I, honestly, do, I do thank you, bro. I try, I actually do try and be inspiring. I like to use myself as a fucking test guinea pig to see what can can and can't be done so other people can try and do it too. I think you're doing a great job of that. So. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fuck yeah. I love this seat. Thank you, bro. Thank you. Oh, I like this one too. <laughs> yeah. But next time I'll be switching them around as well. So. You will. You will. <laughs> All right, let's get into it. Mm-hmm. So recently, I know you love your podcast, mm -hmm. you listen to a lot of them, mm -hmm. there is a big list. What yeah. is the main one? A big one. The main podcast? Obviously, the Joe Rogan experience. Joe Rogan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So last week you were calling me and you said, I've just decided to start from episode one and work my way up. Yep, yep, that is true. I started, I think, in the beginning of last week, two weeks ago I started. I was on episode one. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So last week, you're on 32, episode 32. At the beginning of the week, yeah. I, no, that was at the beginning of this week. Was it? Okay. Yeah, 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 beginning of this week. Because at the start of last week, I was on episode 17. Okay. Start of this week, I was on 32. Now I'm yeah. on... Let's have a look. Let's pull it up. I'm pretty interested because you have a lot of hours in the day, though. 44. 44. I've done, I've done 44 episodes in the last two weeks. And these aren't like hour episodes. No, this one right <laughs> here is actually a two part. <laughs> a two part. And it's an hour and... Oh, fuck, where is he? JRE. So the the average, yeah, so we got like two hours, two hours, two hours, two hours, two hours, hour and 20, two hours. So they're an average of two. This one's three. <laughs> this one's two and a half, two and a half, two and a half, two and a half, two and a half. So they're, they're big. They are big. They're big. So they've gotten a lot bigger, though. Yeah, yeah. Well, I think yeah. I've listened to some of the ones he does. You know what's mm. fucked? He's, he just came out with Theo Vaughn. He just came out with fucking per, per, uh, Protect Our Parks. Mm. And I'm 2,000 episodes away, bro. Because oh, yeah. you can't watch them until you get up to them. I can't, Which bro. is what? Two years away? <laughs> I know. I know. Well, let's just do that. Well, considering... I, I found that I'm getting at least through 10 mm. episodes a week. I mean, you are smashing them out, so... Yeah, and 10 episodes a week is, like... It's not even the most I could do. Mm. I could really do 30 episodes in a week. Yeah. But it's like, I've been starting a new job with a new guy. Yeah. We've been talking mm. and fucking all this shit for a bit. He's a good guy. Shout out to Greg. I know you listen to this episode, Greg. Well, <laughs> while we're chilling in the Airbnb together. <laughs> so thank you for listening, and uh, please wake me up at 7.30 tonight. <laughs> but if I get through... An average, I want to aim for 25 episodes a week. Mm. So let's just say 2,000 divided by 25. It'll only take me 80 weeks of being just <laughs> listening to as much. <laughs> oh, God damn it, bro. I don't know how you could do that. That's a lot of podcasts. <laughs> That's fucked. 
Bro. Fuck a year and a half of listening to 25 episodes a week, bro. That's fucked. Well, I'll get it done. So you're enjoying it? or are you... I'm enjoying it. Yeah? I'm enjoying it. It's just like it's now it's become one of those things that I do to everything where it's mm. a fucking mission. You know <laughs> what I mean? It's, it doesn't have to be yeah. fun anymore. Now mm. I've just fucked it. Uh, but it's all right. It's cool. I, I, I think it's very interesting to listen to Joe Rogan from the beginning. Yeah. Because he like... He's so weird, and like he's not weird. It's just so weird to listen to how different he is back then. You know, like yeah. he's someone will be talking. He's like, "Shut the fuck up, faggot." You know what I mean? Like, and I'm like, "Fuck!" If he can't say this, or he'll be like, "I just don't like the look of black chicks. I've never fucked a black chick. I don't think I ever will fuck a black chick. I just don't like black chicks." So I'm like, okay. "I don't know if you can say that." On I don't the think internet. you can. <laughs> I might have to beep it out. And oh, I'm not I even think say so. <laughs> Yeah, so like I don't know everything he says. His first sponsor is the flashlight. So every episode he talks about. If you haven't tried jerking off with this flashlight, trust me, it's the best tool to jerk mm. off with. Like it cleans itself and he holds it up and he shows the camera. It's like I'm like fuck. Okay, wow. Well, so it's pretty bro. like. And there's that many people that watch that. Like, yeah, bro. It started off in 2011 mm. or 2010. It was very close to 2011 because it was almost 2012 because yeah. they talk about whether they think it's going to be the end of the world that year or mm. not. They already became the number one listened to podcast in the world and it was only like, oh no, by 17 episodes, it was in the top three most listened podcasts okay. in the world and they only had 2,000 listeners. Mm. So considering it only took 2,000 listeners to get to the third most listened podcast, mm. And now his episode pump out millions yeah. of views, millions. It's like I don't know. It's it. It's fucking cool. He's a good. He's a good role model for me. Good inspiration because yeah. he he stuck with it. He just never stopped doing it. Mm-hmm. And I think that's that's what I try and live my life by. Just trying to stick to a fucking plan. Mm-hmm. But it just it does take away a lot of the fun. Yeah. It does. It does. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know. For me, it's pretty hard for me to get like through a whole episode of him. I'm mm-hmm. not the biggest fan. Like I liked a couple of them. Mm-hmm. I like the Kanye West one. That oh was just, yeah, yeah. That was interesting. That hey? was interesting, but yeah. also like what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And they're like I like the Elon Musk one. So that yeah, was good. Yeah, they were good too. But yeah, besides that, yeah. Yeah. Really Have but, you tried many of the comedian ones? Nah. Not really. Because mm, they're easy to get through. Mm. Really easy to get yeah. through. There's this comedian, mm. other, like Chris Destefano. He mm. did an episode probably about 100 episodes ago. And he's one of my favorite comedians. And he's, I was always like, how's he never been on Joe Rogan? Mm. He finally goes on Joe Rogan. Yeah. For those of you, I'll put a link in the description for everyone who hasn't seen it. Oh, Nixie will put a link in the description <laughs> for those who haven't seen it. But he goes, um, he's halfway through this rant. Mm. And he's just like, oh, man, like, it just feels so good. I'm mm. sorry to... To talk up about myself, Joe, but you have the biggest platform in the world. Yeah. I'm going to use this opportunity, but I've been working really hard for a really long time, and now I can afford to buy the car I wanted, mm. and I can buy the watch I always liked, and yeah. I've got these new glasses, and me and my girlfriend are going on this holiday and all this stuff, and then and then he goes, you know what? Maybe I am gay. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck? And it's just a little, all it takes is that one moment, yeah. bro, and that makes the whole episode for me, a whole episode. Yeah. So, like, yeah. you see so many, like, TikToks of, like, Joe Rogan, just so many, like, little things that are so funny, and I love them. Hidden gems, bro, everywhere. Yeah. yeah. So I seen one the other day, and it was this guy, he's just standing up, just swearing at Joe. Oh, yeah, yeah. Bro, I've what is it. that about? Yeah, because that, that intrigued me so much, but I'm still not going to get through that episode. <laughs> I've seen that. I've seen that. So I think that was around episode, like... I want to say like 1,600, 1,700. Yeah. And this guy, he was like an ex-Navy uh, SEAL mm. or Special Force operator. He yeah. might have been a Special Force operator. And he's telling a story about what his dad used to say to him when he was younger that created his trauma. And he's like, get the fuck up, you fucking faggot. And he's just <laughs> screaming, bro. He's standing up with Joe Rogan, just screaming, bro. I was saying that, clear. <laughs> I was saying that, I was saying that. Because like, from my point of view, I'm like, Bro, is he about to fight Joe Rogan? <laughs> it, like, it makes you want to watch the podcast. Like, yeah. And that is like... <laughs> nah, he'd never fight Joe Rogan. Have you ever seen the clip? <laughs> Did you know Joe Rogan used to do Fear Factor? Did you know that? No, I don't know that. No. <laughs> it was a TV show that ran for 13 years. Yeah, 11, I've heard of it. Years. Show, yeah. yeah, good show. He used to be the host mm. of it. And this one guy once, he tried to fight Joe. He got on his face and yeah. shit, and Joe's like... 
you don't back the fuck up, you're going to sleep. Yeah. He's like, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? He's like, all right, gives his microphone to someone. Yeah. He fucking grabs his cunt and guillotine, really? chokes him out right there, bro. He just fucking <laughs> drops it. Because <laughs> he's a killer. He's a black yeah. belt jujitsu jiu- mm. artist. Joe Rogan has the fastest spinning back kick in the world, mm. one of. Most powerful, though. He has, I'm pretty sure he has the most powerful spinning mm. back kick. Um, yeah, bro. He's a fucking... He's a killer. He's yeah. a killer. You can't fuck with Joe Rogan, yeah. bro. <laughs> <laughs> No. Yeah. Bro, this is so embarrassing, but like, I think it was for like two years. I thought Dana White and Joe Rogan were the same person. <laughs> I can see that. Because like, they were, it was always cool. And that. then I'd see him like, you know, separating everyone on the stage. And I was like, oh, yeah. And then what? He does a podcast. Yeah. It wasn't until I actually like went on his podcast. I was like, oh, this is Dana White. <laughs> Who's this? <laughs> That's cool. That's awesome. I just like recently, I'll put a link in the description for this too, but the Joe Rogan intro goes, train by day, Joe Rogan podcast by night, all day. <laughs> that intro, that was Nate Diaz. Oh, really? Yeah, he won a fight and he grabbed the microphone off Joe and he's like, train by day, day Joe Rogan podcast by night, all day. <laughs> that was Nate Diaz. So wow. I'll put a link in the description. It's a pretty cool clip. It's cool. Any, yeah. Everyone should at least watch that clip so yeah. you have an understanding of where it came from. <laughs> yeah, it's cool. It's cool. Fuck yeah. I like Dana White too. He's a mm. fucking sick cunt. He's yeah. a fucking inspiration too. Did I'm you see sure. the new Nelk podcast came out today? I didn't. Hulk Hogan? No. They talk about Dana White in it. They okay. talk about how Dana White's just the sickest cunt. Yeah, I like Dana White. They go to the <laughs> casino and they all lose. Mm. Dana White's like, how oh. much did you lose? Like 60 grand? <laughs> he goes, oh, gives them 60 grand. Win it yeah. back. They lose again. <laughs> how much did you down by? Mm. Another fucking 40. Oh, have another 40. Mm. And then until everyone wins their money back, he'll keep giving it's them crazy. money. crazy. <laughs> yeah. I just don't understand how he wins every <laughs> single time. Because no, if you have enough money, bro, you'll mm. never lose. I guess so, yeah. Because you just keep doubling, doubling, yeah. doubling, and eventually it will win. Mm-hmm. Fucking crazy. Crazy. Did you see the videos of him, like, with a full stack that, like, they have, like, behind the counter. He's like, yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just full. Yeah, I know. Oh, fuck me. I love gambling so much. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. But yeah. Anyway. Has the squeaky chair. Do you like it? Oh, it's good. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to sit still, but... <laughs> My yeah. throat's itching, so it's making me want to move my body for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nice. But, so, going into Joe, mm-hmm. I want to talk about the pyramids. Oh, Jump straight into it. The pyramids. I don't know much about it, but I've been seeing a lot about it, and oh. it's so crazy. Oh, dude, dude. I don't even, honestly, I wouldn't know where to start with the pyramids. Also, we might have a special guest interruption for everyone this thing, we might have to take a break in a minute because I guarantee my mum's going to walk through the door any minute now. She hasn't seen me in Special a week. Special guest. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So you think you don't know much about the Egyptian pyramids? I don't, but because mm-hmm. of Joe Reagan, it's mm. been coming up a lot and it's just crazy and like I've dived deep and like, not, not deep, sorry, but yeah. shallow. Yeah. <laughs> just watching yeah. videos. So you I just you tell me, you're like, yeah. oh, that's warm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's so crazy. I wish I'd bring some spare. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I thought you were my guy to talk about with. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. I know I, you would know about, a lot about it. I know a little bit about it. Mm. I don't know enough. As Joe talks about, he, he says like for like, Eight years, he was so fascinated that he learned every single possible theory there could be about the pyramids. I haven't even seen the pyramids. Like, I'm not the most, I'm not the best spokesperson for them. But for what I do understand, which is why it's so fascinating, is that every single stone in the pyramid Mm. is something like an average of like a ton to five tons per stone. Mm. They're taller than fucking people, almost like as big as a bus or a Mm. minivan. And they came from 500 miles away. And so what's a mile? 2.2, 2, 1.8 Ks or something? 2.2 Ks, I think a mile is. So they came from fucking like Dubbo, bro. Like they're <laughs> fucking, what the fuck, more. 2 point, if 2.2 miles is 1 K, they came mm. from, from orange. So it's like, how the fuck did they get them there? Mm. That's the fucking question everyone wants to know. Why yeah. they build the pyramids, that's the question everyone wants to know. Because they never they said it was a tomb, but they've never found a mummified body inside it. Yeah. I've watched some documentaries of people pulling out, like, gold out of there. Like, there'd be, like, full fucking beds made of gold, cribs, cradles, couches, chairs. Everything's made of pure gold. Yeah. How did they even forge that? Who the fuck knows? They have this column that sits inside the fucking pyramid that is so big that you physically can't have put it in there like it doesn't actually make sense based on the surroundings so the theory was from a long i watched a very long time ago is they 
must have had some kind of technology to build the pyramids from the top down. Mm-hmm. So they started with the top and they <laughs> built the bottom around it. Okay. So it doesn't actually make sense how yeah, they yeah. built it. So it doesn't make sense to build from the top down. Mm-hmm. But just from what we understand, it doesn't make sense to build it from the bottom up because the pieces don't fit together properly. Yeah. Uh, so it's like, I don't know, bro. There's there's other things about it too, like the its exact coordinates for north, south, east, and west for each mm. point of the pyramid. It sits exactly underneath the correlations for the stars above. The dimensions are times 24 to what the distance of the Earth is. It's actually one scale of the Earth or mm. what? Something to do with some scale. It sits also at the exact coordinates for the speed of light. So if the speed of light is something like two million, two, 20,000, 24,600, whatever it is, kilometers per hour, that's the exact coordinates to the tenth number for where the fucking pyramid sits. So it's like all these fucking things. I reckon, realistically, it wasn't built by humans. That's my that's my only theory. Like it just that I just can't see it. If it wasn't built by humans, they had someone tell them how to do it. <laughs> uh, do you want to hear my theory? Yeah. All right. So we're both qualified in our trades. Mm-hmm. What do you think of apprentices? Oh, I don't like where you're going with this. What do I think of apprentices? Mm. I think apprentices are getting dumber. You're so right, bro. So Fuck. what do you think our Apprentices Dude, you're, are getting you're, dumber. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. Now, when we were apprentices, our tradies would have thought we're dumb. Mm. I think. So we look at our trades, we're like, oh, yeah, they know so much. Mm-hmm. But they think, oh, these kids, they just want to do this, go on their phones, whatever. And yeah, they think they're getting dumber and dumber. Too many distractions. If you like go that. hundreds of thousands of years ago to that. Oh. They would have been like the best tradies there, like you know, like one rock just going like this across some sticks rolling across. Yeah. And just as generations have gone down, we've just gotten so much dumber and lazier. So it's not that the technology was better; it's just that the brains were better. Yeah, pretty much. That's my theory. Mm. <laughs> Bro, that makes so much sense because if you think about it, it's like we with the way technology works is you always make technology only to make your life easier. Exactly. That's the way it's been forever. Yeah. You need to fucking, you need to, you drink water at the lake, you get so sick of drinking water at the lake, so you make your life easier by taking a big fucking container mm-hmm. of water, and then taking it back to your camp, then all of a sudden your legs aren't going to be as strong because you're not yeah. walking every day to go get more yeah. water. And like our tradies, tradies, they would be like, oh, who needs a circular saw? I just got a hand saw. Yeah. And now we're just like, <laughs> yeah. Now full doing that hard labor. And so, even when it comes to like using a level and a square and all exactly. these things, back in the day, everything had to be with eye. Yeah. And you know, back in the day with these fucking pyramids, maybe because they make these things so precise that mm. they actually have decided that if they were to build this with a machine, mm-hmm. these pieces of rock, they can't get it as neat and straight. Exactly. So maybe the brain was just so naturally good at it. Exactly. Oh, dude, that is one of the greatest. I, I've never thought about the fact that <laughs> we've just gotten dumber. Fuck. I seen this thing on a like a carpenter's page and I was like, What I'm like that's not level. He just had a beer here. It was on the crooked. Not level. Put it flat. Level. In oh. the water, the the liquid, the beer was just yeah, like yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's how you yeah. told it if it was level or not. So. Yeah. That's how some people actually do things. I've seen people on the side. <laughs> I'll drink their water till it gets to that like <laughs> that thing. Yeah. And that's what they do. They just put it on top of the door and they're like I mean, it makes sense. Perfect. It does make sense. It's a spirit level. It's exactly, exactly. the same. It's yeah. the same thing, really. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> my level's all right here, bro. These are my levels. I look at it, I go, three mil up over there. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. But even just looking at a building, you can see if something's out of level. Yeah, yeah. I don't work, mate. Jono. If everyone listening who knows Jono, well, I can tell him because I know he doesn't listen to the podcast, the <laughs> scumbag. <laughs> But um, he had the craziest eyesight. Mm. He could literally look at anything and literally be like, it's one mil there, it's a straight run. He'd be like, one mil over there, mm. four mil over there, two mil over there. He'd go do it, he won't even double check it. Yeah. He just knows it's fine. Yeah. He just knows. <laughs> Fucking sick. I put my level on something, I'm like, bang on. He's like, nah, it's not. I look at my level again, I'm like, oh, it's not. <laughs> yeah, if I ever go to the pyramids, I'm taking a spirit level. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 and you're gonna look at it. It's gonna be sideways, like <laughs> pathetic. <laughs> <laughs> what 
Where's the craftsman? Oh, they must have... be bung-eyed. <laughs> have some pride in your work. 100%. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, that's a great theory. And um, what if what if like we didn't get dumber? What if the brains just shifted? Mm. What if instead of it, because it didn't need to be as well creative, mm. it needed to start using its brain power somewhere else? Yeah. You know, because they would have never had the comprehension for fucking electricity yeah. and all this shit. Which they reckon they might have too. They reckon that the way the pyramids are built and the way the water used to flow past them, because there's so much gold and all these other ions inside mm. them. That it used to create an electrical charge and they probably had electricity. Probably. <laughs> probably, <laughs> like, used lightning to, like, str- like yeah. I don't know, something like that. It would struck mm. it and it would go, like, mm. uh, harness it. So many theories. But... <laughs> yeah, I know. It's crazy. It's, it's like, I, I don't know. Would I want to know the answer, though? Mm-hmm. I think. No. Mm-hmm. If someone could be like, oh, we'll give you all the information you need to know and then you mm-hmm. understand the pyramids, I probably wouldn't accept it. Yeah. <laughs> I like figuring it out. Mm-hmm. I don't like knowing everything because then it's fucking kind of ruins Egypt, you know? Like, oh. It's funny you say that. Yeah. What about this Neuralink that you've been talking yeah, about? Yeah. I know. The whole thing about the Neuralink is it's like, we're going to do it anyway. So why fucking wait? That's the way I see it. I don't reckon in our lifetimes. I reckon in our lifetimes, bro. Nah. Dude, if you think about think about it like this, what I was thinking about yesterday. Did you ever, did you ever play PlayStation 2? Yes. All right. <laughs> PlayStation 2. Do you remember you used to get your games, mm-hmm. download your games yeah. first onto your memory card, mm-hmm. and then you go into the little thing and you have, like, fucking whatever games you had, but you didn't have much room to oh, delete some. You'd have, like, three games. You'd have, like, three. If you were lucky, you had eight megabytes because <laughs> yeah. it's, like, two megabytes, all yeah. right? It's not a normal cardboard. You'd be rich if you had the jewel. Yeah, <laughs> two of them, bro. <laughs> Fuck. I think, I think one day I had two. It was cool. I think I got to three. Oh, really? Yeah, because I think I could buy them fucking pre-owned, yeah. and they had games on them sometimes. Oh, really? Yeah, wow. Cool. I remember my neighbor, he had like an adapter I'd plug in. You'd have like five stacked up or something. Yeah, that was yeah cool. that's cool. But you missed, you missed that one thing before downloading. Oh. You put the game in, and you'd just be like, please, 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 please. It, yeah. They'd come up, be like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Sony and Pikachu. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, oh, and then wow. it would go, and you go, yes, 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 and my two terabytes there are a total of 20 terabytes. Uh, that's five, literally five million times what it, that was. Bro, the technology crazy. is five million times better. So where the fuck were we going with this? We're talking about technology. Oh, the Neuralink. <laughs> yeah. So if that's how fast technology yeah. has jumped mm. since I've been a kid, yeah. then that means everything now is going to be five million times better when mm. I'm... You know, 15 more years in the future. Maybe. Like, I think fucking just put your neck out, everyone. You're yeah. going to get fucking... It's going to happen. <laughs> it's going to happen, bro. Did you see on the news about those um 50 people who are getting um, frozen? No, no. 50 people have volunteered to freeze themselves in, like, a lab. And they're going to try and bring them back to life. And how long? Oh, like, now? No. Well, they're getting freezed, like... I don't know. I think soon. Like, I think oh. it's it's already been built. Like, I saw it. It's full. Like, this is true. Well, I know that fucking Walt Disney, he's frozen. There's mm. a couple of people that are frozen. Yeah. Because they have, like, some weird disease. Yeah. And they want to wait until there's a cure. Yeah. That's so rich, bro. That's so rich. Yeah. So, these people that are getting frozen, that's pretty cool. Have you ever seen Futurama? No. <laughs> Futurama's mad. It's... The show... If, you're probably aware of what the show is. But yeah. Fry, the main character... He, he falls into this fucking thing by accident. He's a pizza delivery boy, mm. and he fucking trips over in this fucking warehouse, and he lands in this cryogenic chamber that just shuts the door, mm. and it's set for 1,000 years. So he goes from the year 2,000 to year 3,000. Yeah. And he just fucking comes out, and then after a while, he's like, what the fuck is happening? What the <laughs> hell? He doesn't even realise. He's so stupid. He's yeah. Fry. He's, his name's Fry. And um, I don't know. I think it's a pretty cool idea. I think it's a pretty cool idea. If you could get frozen and you had to get frozen, how many years in the future would you go? 
I, honestly, but you couldn't be, you couldn't wake up in the same time zone that you would have been alive. I wouldn't want to. I you wouldn't. have to. Let's just say you have to, because I knew you'd say you don't want to. Okay. Because I wouldn't want to either. Yeah. Yeah. But let's say you had to. I had to, and I could choose when I wake up. Like how many years? You can't be within the same time you would have been alive for now. So in the next <laughs> eighty years. 40 years. Mm. I want to go as less as possible. No, but you can't go 80. You can't go less than 80. <laughs> you, you can't say four. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that math doesn't work on that. Uh, you know what? 10,000. 10,000. Yeah, 10,000. That's a gamble, bro. Let's just see. That's a gamble. Yeah. There but, could be nothing. But then... But what happens if there's nothing? Do I just have to survive? Yeah, you just have to try and survive, bro. Really? Until like, you die. But how long is that going to be? Like, Until you die. You could find food and water, and you could fucking what find... What if it's just ocean, bro? Imagine you, like... Imagine you just by yourself. This is such a dark thought, but, like, imagine you wake up <laughs> 10,000 years later, right? Everything's fucked. Yeah. Flora and fauna have taken back over. It's mm. a beautiful place to live. Earth is like Adam and Eve's a garden. Yeah. And you know there's no one around. And then there's like 30 more fucking ta- uh, frozen people. Mm. They're all waiting to come alive too. And you're like, fuck. Life's so much better now than it ever was when humans were alive. Look mm. how beautiful this place is. Do you smash everyone's fucking tubes or not? <laughs> <laughs> like, are you the hero or are you the villain? Because there'd be no more humans, but there'd be everything else flourishes, you know? <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't like that. Like, because, like, what if you're, like, 30 years by yourself? Yeah. It'd be a lonely time. It'd be, be a lonely. lot of solo podcasts, eh? And there'd only be one view on every video. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You'd have no internet. What do you do, bro? It'd be a podcast, but you'd just have, like, hundreds of thousands of animals just, like... <laughs> like, the Lion King, up. eh? Yeah, true. I could fucking... That'd be cool. Yeah. I don't know. If you could experience what it would be like to just live in, like, the Amazon mm. for five years, would you experience it? If you got to... Let's just say your life got to pause, mm. and then you got to come back to your life now, so you didn't miss out on anything, and you knew you weren't going to die, but you would have moments where you thought you could... Mm. You're like, fuck, this is really hard. Would you go live amongst the Amazon? I don't think so. <laughs> you wouldn't? I would, I would, 100%. But even... I was talking to one of the um, builders today, and he was talking about how he's booked in this holiday. He's going to the Philippines, and he's just taking a trail bike and just going into the jungle. Oh. Just him and a tour guide. Oh. For, like, two weeks. Oh. Would you do that? I two would... weeks. Like, vi- he's going to, like, visit all the villages there and just... Mm. It's full jungle. Mm. It's a weird experience. See, it's only two weeks as well. Mm. I get it. You can't take too much time off. I get yeah. it. You're limited. Mm. But, like, I wouldn't do that. Yeah. I wouldn't do that. Not yet. Mm. Maybe one day. But there's <laughs> so much shit. Excuse me. <laughs> there's so much shit I want to see before I go do anything like that. Yeah. Fuck that. <laughs> Fuck that, actually. <laughs> yeah. that's another thing I was like mm, well I would not do that but anyways <laughs> yeah. goes well. yeah. I, I'm very interested in the idea of just going to a country and just mm-hmm. living there but yeah like Josh Payne that was Josh Payne if you listen shout out to you I know that Nixie loved your episode so Amazing. fucking you better love his episode too <laughs> yeah. But his idea of going to South America on my ticket is so inspiring. Mm. I met another guy at work, a builder actually told me too, the best time of his life was going to South America. Yeah. The best time. He just went there. He told me he ended up fucking finding a guy. He's like, yeah, can you get some cocaine? He's like, yeah. Mm. This guy came back with like, I think he said it was like, something like 140 grams, mm. like a full sandwich bag, okay. this big of cocaine mm. for like $200. And he's like, fuck yeah. So him and the boys literally did coke for like two months in <laughs> South America. Well, that's pretty cool. Mm. I'm actually going to have him on the podcast one day, actually. He's yeah. a sick cunt. Such a cool guy. But yeah, um, I just think that's inspiring, bro. Going to another country is just fucking scary, bro. Yeah. Scary. Well, man, you went to a country with nothing. Your phone, a charger. <laughs> yeah, I <laughs> if know. that. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. I did. That, I mean, that was... Way different. I had safety behind me. Yeah. I was going there to to see Pat. Yeah. I already had a safety blanket, you know. I didn't really have that fucking f- 
crazy fucking like let's just see what happens i knew it was gonna happen i was yeah. gonna say bad he's gonna help me <laughs> Happy yeah. birthday to you, Pat. Yeah, happy birthday, Patty boy. Happy birthday. Fuck yeah. Film this on your birthday. <laughs> yeah. If you ever listen to it. <laughs> yeah. Bro, we're talking about the Sahil Zone podcast today. Mm. What a podcast. Oh, you're talking if about If you that haven't seen that, make sure you watch it. Fuck yeah. Make sure you watch it. <laughs> Didn't want to have to do a camera angle there. <laughs> yeah, fucking... So you were talking about that with Pat? Yeah, he was saying he's been showing so many people. Yeah. To everyone. So. Yeah, that was a good episode, eh? Yeah. It was a good episode because it was like, one, it's exciting mm. to have fucking Sahil back. It really is exciting. It I knew sad, I knew to captivate. Just the stories. But the stories, I knew he'd come with some yeah. entertainment too. Yeah. I don't know. It's unfortunate for what everything he had to go through, mm. but um, I think that it was a good lesson mm. that he taught everyone. Yeah. 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 He taught the lesson to me anyway of fucking um, showing appreciation for what you have when you mm. have it, and second, not to fuck around. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, Because <laughs> yeah. I don't know, how would you go in jail? No. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. What if you got to go for a day? A day to jail. A day. I'd probably go for a day. I wouldn't go I wouldn't a go week. Longer. No, I wouldn't. Five even, days. I wouldn't. Three days. Five days. Like three days. Like <laughs> <shit holds. laughs> yeah. I wouldn't like it though. Like oh, no one's gonna like it. Yeah. No one's gonna I, like it. No, I just no. I couldn't. I mm. Couldn't. Spanian says that it says that on the outside, usually people who are absolutely killing it mm. go to jail, and they're just the bottom of the bottom. Yeah. People who are the bottom of the bottom on the outside, like. Homeless people, drug addicts, mm. scumbags, they kill it in jail. Yeah. Hmm. I'd kill it. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, I don't know. For me, I wouldn't cope. No yeah. Way. Yeah, it'd be hard. It'd be fucking... Yeah. There'd, be, there'd be so much shit about it. Mm. And Sahil, he's a fucking strong, mm. strong individual too. A lot stronger than me. I couldn't do that. But... Yeah. And he doesn't talk about what was shit about it. Yeah. Yeah, he just... He says it was obviously shit, but he also, if it was me, I'd be in so much detail about how I felt through it. Mm -hmm. I'd be constantly in my own feelings, but he probably had to turn that off, you yeah. know? Maybe he just pretended like he didn't have feelings the whole time. Yeah. Maybe, maybe. It's good to have him back. Anyway. It's great to have him back. Shout out to Sahil. Shit. Shout out to Sahil. Thank you for the episode, bro. Yeah. I, know, I know you're listening to this one. I know you're listening to this one. Yeah. All right, on a side note, I don't know if anyone's realised... Has anyone realised that there is an axe in the table? I've heard it a couple of times in person. No one's bringing it up on the podcast. <laughs> no one's bringing it up on the podcast. And no one's ever picked it up. No so I'm so happy I'm the first one. Because <laughs> yeah. I've been thinking that for a lot of episodes now. <laughs> yeah. Nice. And why I have this. Yeah. There's some annoying dogs. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Should yeah. we go sort them out? <laughs> yes. Yes, I love the idea, dude. I love you know what, everyone? We'll be back. We'll be back. <laughs> yeah. Nah, good idea. Fuck yeah. Also, I had a side note. Yes. You just reminded me of when you said the dog. <laughs> so the other day, mm. I was talking to my brother out the back, and these dogs are going crazy, yeah. bro. It's fucking probably 9 30, 10 a.m., mm. maybe less, maybe 8 30, 8 45. And I can just, we're trying to talk and we're talking real shit. And then these dogs are going, fuck me. I'm like, just, sorry, Kyle, give me one second. So I learned how to shut the dogs up. <clears throat> I stand up on a bunch of timbers next to the fence. I look over the fence. All these staffies are just looking at me. Going, rah, 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 rah. <laughs> and I go like this, I go. Shut the <laughs> fuck up, you fucking stupid best cunt fucking dogs. And they all got this, hur, 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 and they all back away. And then I'm like, yeah, you fucking pussies. Who's fucking barking now, you fucking stupid cunts? And they're like, hur. they all fucking scared. I'm like, fucking pussies. I get back, I walk back to my chair. They did not make a fucking peep, bro, for days. Days these days. Yeah, like, that's the reason they're not talking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, fuck. Maybe we've got to say Les. Maybe I, I can get myself so. in trouble. Yeah. <laughs> No, but seriously, I learned these dogs are fucking pussies, bro. <laughs> Fuck these dogs. They're fucking... They act like they're hard cunts. I fucking... Oh, Wreck God. the podcast. 
Oh. However, I can never hear it. You I don't know if it's because it? I'm driving or I'm at work and I'm listening, but mm. I never hear him. So yeah, sweet. Because when I'm editing it, I don't really, mm. don't really hear it. It's very faint. Yeah. Oh, the mics are off. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just joking. Oh, I can't wait to see my face. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. I was like, I, I think yeah. I'm doing well, but... You are doing well. You are doing well. You are doing well. But yeah, um, you can't hear him, but it's just when you're doing the podcast to someone and the dog's going off, fuck, it's distracting, bro. Yeah. I'm just like, I can't keep focused. There's so many things to think about. Mm. Yeah, so let's just hope death is upon him. <laughs> I just got what you just said. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You always got the Pepsi Max, huh? Mm. Oh. Open that up. See, there's nothing better than Pepsi Max. So this is the one on your side, huh? Yeah. Oh. Bourbon. You've done it again. <laughs> this is Coca-Cola. <laughs> so you put Pepsi Max on that side, and this, this is Coca-Cola. <laughs> no, I haven't. Oh. I'm glad you didn't mention that there's bourbon in it, but... I don't know. Dude, I fucking love Pepsi Max, eh? Straight mm. up. I've got to try and get a sponsor soon, eh? I don't know. Pepsi Max obviously never going to sponsor it, but I have an idea, so I reckon mm. I can. I reckon there's a good chance I can get it. Also, I have another fucking idea I want to tell you. Mm. I don't know whether I'll put this in the podcast. I may as well, because I'd like to see it turn into fruition. But basically, in our trade, we have this thing in TAFE called the Apprentice Olympics, mm-hmm. and they go around to all the TAFEs, they grab a bunch of people under the age of 21, and they set up like a day event where it's like you get given a schematic drawing of a pipe system you have to make it you're given a bunch of other tasks and things to carry out and you get judged on accuracy Mm -hmm. precision speed time and safety Mm safety is a very very important one you can lose a lot of marks if you take your safeties off for one second they can deduct points off you if your gloves aren't to the right gloves for cutting you have to use cutting gloves all these things Mm -hmm. You have to have the correct shit. You have to mark everything, pencil, textures. Everything has to be sweet. Shut up. Stop <laughs> fucking beep. Anyway. So it's a cool, it's a very cool thing they do. It's, it gives good incentives. And like once you beat your region, you compete nationally. And then when you compete nationally, they have it for the whole world. Mm. So Australians have won a lot, a lot of times mm. worldwide. Australians are really good at it. Um, there's nothing for tradies, bro. Yeah. So I'm thinking, and I've been talking to some people, and I really think I can do it, hosting a day Mm -hmm. where all companies get involved, and it's a giant event for all businesses, all suppliers, all all the tool brands, all the places that people buy their material off, and I already have a location of where I think it could happen, Mm. and it's called, um, instead of calling it King of the Hill, Mm. like a normal fucking competition, (laughs) it's going to be King of the HVAC. Because my trade's HVAC, okay. heating, ventilation, air conditioning, and refrigeration. Yeah. So I really think I can create this day where mm. companies can come with their tools and have like 30% off. Yeah. Um, I could even hit out Milwaukee and yeah. be like, can we have a pack-out competition to see mm. who has the biggest pack-outs? Everyone brings them. Whoever can create the tallest yeah. thing gets to get the free pack-out. <laughs> Whoever has the most creative custom thing can have one of these. Mm. And then... I really think it'll be a good place for all business owners to meet and talk mm. and tradies can come and compete and you can have this company versus this company mm. and, and like, oh, I just think it'd be a cool, great That's experience. Idea, yeah. but I really think I can create this event. Mm. I've, I've been thinking so deep into like microphones, you know, yeah. I could I could get a free microphone off a company that rents them yeah. and be like, big shout out for everyone that wants to host the next event, start using this company. They've done an amazing job supplying the equipment. I've, I've been planning out my speeches. I've been planning out my yeah. routines. Like, I think this would be it. I could do this. I really think I can do this. <laughs> but it's a lot of work. It's oh, yeah. so much work. Mm. I think that, like, originally I was like, I could do this by the end of the year. Mm. And now that was what I thought, like, the other day. And now it's like, let's just hang on a bit. We've got a lot <laughs> of shit to do. Let's just... Do it for next year. Yeah. yeah. But you're built for that because you love your your long hours. Yeah. And... Yeah. I love my long hours. I love my hosting. Yeah. I love events. I love planning. I love networking. Mm. I love the idea of getting people to meet, getting people together. Mm. I think it's fucking such a fucking... It's one of my favorite things to do in life. Yeah. Get... Oh, you. Oh, you. <laughs> fucking let's put you... Let's make a W. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's cool. a great idea. Yeah, yeah. I think so too. I think it'd be fucking, mm. 
Yeah, there's a lot of fridges. The weird thing about us is we're so passionate about the refrigeration. Yeah. So it's so weird. Someone mentioned it to me today. They use a different word other than passionate, but it was like we're so like we live and breathe it. Mm. You know, it's not like most trades. Like plumbers don't live and breathe it. Sparkies don't live and breathe it. The, and the trades are so big, mm-hmm. but refrigeration so small. Yeah, coming to the company I know I'm at now, I've heard of like seven of the people. I've never met them, but I've heard stories of them. Mm-hmm. And I meet other people and I tell them stories and they're like, oh, are you talking about this guy? How do you know this guy? I worked with him fucking eight years ago. I'm like, I worked with him six years ago. It's like, it's such a tight community. And like, I just think, I really think that everyone would enjoy the day. I think it'd be, I could help, there'll be pamphlets. I'll give out to all the suppliers, emails. It'd be like, beg your boss for the day off, you know, like all these things, the little promotions, like, fuck yeah. I think it'd be, Super dope, bro. Super dope. Mm. No, that's a good idea. Mm. I reckon you should definitely do that. Mm. The near future? Yeah, the near future. The near future. It's a lot of work. Yeah. Hosting a day is going to be a big event. Especially if no one comes. <laughs> Fuck, if no one comes, <laughs> I'll buy till 30% off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Get that Milwaukee. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I think it'd be cool. Bacon and eggs, yeah. sausages. And okay, it'd be a good thing for breakfast. Everyone, mm. you know, and there could be different times for different parts mm. of the day. Like, yeah. 9 a.m. is when the food starts cooking. 10.30 a.m. is when we do the first fucking challenges. Fucking... And there'll be some really annoying challenges that people aren't going to want to do. Mm. Like, say, if you haven't done it, you won't understand, but say you get 25 mil corrugated conduit and you have a cable that's almost the same size and you have, like, 30 metres of it and you have to just fucking push this cunt through. Whoever wins gets a good prize. So you'll just see a bunch of cunts just fucking trying so hard going like this. Ah, ah. I think it'd be fucking it'd be graphic. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's a hard job, but pushing that through, even hey. for houses. Oh, conduit, shit, mm. shit. I hate doing yeah. it. It's fucking shit. My um old boss, they were struggling to get it up, couldn't get it up. Mm-hmm. He attached a high ab to the rope, pulled it up with a high ab. It happens, yeah. People do it. I was like, what? Yeah. And I was struggling to pull it up. Yeah. People, there's a technique to it. Sparky's mm. no. Sparky's, a, yeah. they do it all day. But yeah, it's not easy fucking mm. feeding conduit. So I think, yeah, I'll try not to talk about it too much. And I'd rather, because I heard this quote. I think you like this quote. It's, it's one of the best quotes I've ever heard. Is it, when it comes to a dream, is it one day or is this day one? It's good. As soon as I heard that, I was like, damn, I love that. I wrote it down in my notes in my quote section. I was like, fuck yeah. So that's what I'm going to try and do. I'm going to try and not talk about it too much because the more I talk about it, the less I'm going to do it. I've got to start fucking figuring some shit out. Yeah. yeah. Someone else is going to see it. Take yeah. your idea. <laughs> yeah, well, fuck, if they do, at least I've got it on the internet. <laughs> at least you know where the idea came from. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <Just> them. <laughs> and then you're going to do it like before the episode yeah. comes out. Anyway, he copied my idea. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll get on that then real quick. Let me just say, dude, honestly, thank you for... I know this episode isn't over, mm. but I'm so yeah. grateful for you coming and doing this episode today. Good. Like, unbelievably grateful. Well, I sat down last week and I... <laughs> because I was meant... This this was meant to get filmed last week. The only reason this is, works out so perfectly is because we have the public holiday. Mm. So I don't have to go back to work for two days. One day isn't enough time. Mm. So I literally filmed an episode by myself, mm. sat in that seat, asked myself a question, <laughs> walked oh, no, around didn't. the room, sat in this seat and answered it for like hours, bro. Because like I knew how long I had to sit down for because mm. of how much time I was missing out by yeah. walking. <laughs> so I had to film for hours, bro. Yeah. And I'm just like, I'd get back, I'd ask a question, I'd get back in this seat and, I'd, and it's like half the time, most of mm. the time I'd sit back down and I'd be like, this is so fucking weird. <laughs> what am I doing? And then I'd get back up, I'd get in the other seat, and I'd be like, hey, I'm trying to run a podcast here, can't get back up. And then I'd walk back to this seat, and I'd be like, all right, fuck, that just feels so weird getting up, walking across the room, and asking myself the same fucking question, guy. And then I'd get back in the other seat, I'm like, who the fuck are you swearing at? <laughs> Dude, it was fucked. I lost my mind. Oh, you've done that before, and that was so funny. Yeah, that little two video. Minutes. Have you posted that? I have never posted. You that. have to. Oh, Otherwise, but, I'm posting that on my TikTok. But I can. <laughs> yeah, if you want, I'll be there. Yeah, yeah. All right, fine. Because everyone has to see that. Yeah. All right. All right. You can post that. I'll post it, and then it'll be out. 
put it in the link. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah right. link will be in the description. Because, yeah, that was a good little clip. That was, was funny. funny. It I enjoyed was funny. that. The thing is, it's like, now it's like, I always know I can do way better. Yeah. So it's yeah. like, and I have this other thing I've been doing. I, um, do I talk about it? Yeah, fuck it. We'll give everyone a sneak peek for it. But once a month, I'm kind of, I'm sitting down and I'm asking myself, instead of journaling, like, because I try to journal as much as I can, but I'll actually ask myself the same things I'd want to write down. So I do the same thing where I sit in that seat, I get back up, I come in this seat, but it's only very quickly. Mm. So I figure if I do this for enough time, eventually after like a year, two years, three years, with enough fucking 10 minute sections, I'll have a full episode. Mm. And then I can go back and watch it and everyone can watch me literally change, bro. Like Mm. through the episode, it's going to be like this month has got some exciting stuff coming up. And then the next month I'll talk about like... Yeah, I didn't get to finish that. I'm halfway through this. I actually got to do this. And then, like, I think by the end of it, it'll be like a time lapse, you know? I'm fucking pretty I'm pretty keen to do this. But it's way different than than doing a full podcast by yourself, bro. I'm so glad I don't have to post it. It's just, I don't even want to edit it, bro. It's fucked. It would take hours to edit. Oh, oh. it's fucked. Please it's tell me you, even... like, change your clothes every time. No, I thought about it. I thought about it. I really did. Or imagine if I could, like, imagine if I was so smart, I could, like, ask myself everything oh, and then oh, say the yeah. reactions back. Mm. Yeah. I reckon I could do that one day. I'm going to try that. I'm going to try that one day. Because that's how they shoot TV shows. Yeah. They have a script and then, like, they'll do all the scenes they have to do mm. in that one clothing. Yeah. And then they'll go do another mm. clothes. <laughs> yeah. Fuck yeah. I'll do, I'll do that one day. But, yeah. So thank you for fucking not letting me have a solo podcast it's all good. just yet. <laughs> Still going strong. It really didn't happen. Yeah. Someone lost uh, tempo. <laughs> yeah. Worked out well. Only going strong, let me just say as well, because of people like you mm. who've been over multiple times mm. and everyone who has come over and done an episode. There's mm. been 36 fucking people who have come over and done an episode mm. with me so far. And I, I couldn't be more grateful for it. Mm. The, the swap cast, trust me, I'm super grateful because to come over once is a good thing. Come over yeah. twice, it's like, fuck, I must be doing <laughs> something all right. But like 36 fucking people, that is like, hmm. fuck, dude. I was really thinking in the beginning, I'm going to struggle to get fucking seven, yeah. you know? And I'm, I'm just getting started, bro. I'm just getting started. Like, it's it's crazy. It's crazy. I'm so fucking grateful to know the people I know. Mm. I, I, I know, I only know great people. Mm. And the people who don't come on, fuck them. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, it's yeah. crazy how, how it's turned out. Like from episode one, I actually watched episode one this week. Did you? Yeah. Just to... Oh, yeah, because you sent me a screenshot of it. Yeah, you yeah. You looked so different at it. Oh, 100%. And the way like you've structured it till now. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Fuck, I've got to go back and watch it. I haven't watched it since it came out. I've seen that episode probably like four times now. Really? Yeah. I've probably seen it three, bro. You've okay. probably seen it more than me. <laughs> I reckon, yeah. Wow, wow. Yeah, Actually, no, I did watch episode one a few times. Right. A few it was times. so funny, though. Yeah. It was so funny. You'd say things to the camera like, oh, like, you guys better get keen for that. Oh, I just start... <laughs> I just couldn't stop laughing. It was really? so funny. I don't even remember it. Was it a great eh? podcast. It's crazy to think that's forty weeks ago. That's really yeah. weird. That's really mm. weird. It really feels like it was mm. yesterday. <laughs> yeah, it's fucking crazy. Oh yeah, I remember. Um, to demo, he was talking about like he's fighting like what is it like a fighting group and like how oh, like f- um Lion City MMA yeah Lion City and like how you're supposed to like fight this guy and then he like found out who he was and like the team he was with and it was like. Oh, you back down. <laughs> yeah. And then you were just like in the background like, yeah, that's kind of like my card clan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I did say that. Were you my Xbox like, that crew? Me of when I, you know what? That reminds me of when I used to play COD and we had this crew called <laughs> XAs. And people would back out because we'd be Prestige Masters. Uh, fuck, that is so cringe. That <laughs> So funny. <laughs> so accurate. Like, people are probably going to think I'm a nerd. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's talking about oh. bashing people's faces. <laughs> and I'm talking about partying up with a Mountain Dew and a pack of Doritos, bro. <laughs> Comparing them like they're the same thing. 
<laughs> it was hilarious. Fuck, that's oh, so funny. What a great podcast. Yeah. Well, do you honestly think it's different? Like, much oh yeah, different it's different. Even like the audio quality, is so much better. Yeah, I've tried to inc- yeah. tried to increase the audio. I have not increased it in a while. I'm yeah. getting a bit slack with that. I should put more time into it. Although I'm about to buy a brand new microphones, yeah. though. So it's like, fuck, what's the point? Mm. I can I hope it's good enough. Everyone yeah. listening, fuck, sorry, sorry. <laughs> But no, I'm not hating on that podcast. What a great... Like, I enjoyed it so much. Yeah, it was no. so funny. So I thought it was a good start, eh? I yeah. thought it was a good entry-level mm-hmm. pod. It got a lot of people. I think a hundred and fucking sixty people lot, listened yeah. to it. All the demo ones are so good. Yeah. So interesting. So yeah. funny. Because we've got a good banter. Yeah. Because he's like a bully, it. but he's like <laughs> an older brother. He's like a normal older yeah. brother for me. Mm. He's one of the first older brothers I've ever had in my yeah. life. He's a, to be honest, he is my first real older brother. Mm-hmm. Damn, if you're listening, I really, really consider you my older brother, dude. I'm really appreciative of you because you fucking bully me. You you literally... Sorry to do this to you, but you stabbed me once. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> like, it's just like, it's, it's, it's cool, bro. I, I, I love our friendship. I love it so much. It's more than friendship. And, um, yeah, it's one thing being a older sibling is you always crave an older brother i've noticed it with myself i'm always looking at older blokes like oh bro take me under your wing like you're my mentor you're my fucking hero and it's because like i fucking don't have an older brother but my younger brother he doesn't have many people other than me that he looks up to like my mom tells me which i don't see it he fucking i think he hates me yeah (laughs) she's like trust me he looks up to you so it's like "Mm, does he (laughs) anyway it's weird an older an older sibling if anyone listen if you feel that way find someone older than you and just hang on to them Mm because like they're the fucking best thing that could ever happen yeah Mm. you're a really good inspiration to your brother there i try to be fuck a bit of a I'm a good example of what you shouldn't do. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. Oh, I think, yeah. Yeah. He's learned from that, so. Yeah. I think yeah. you're doing well. Mm. Uh, I actually am comfortable. I can lean back. You can't lean back much. You've got that creak. Mm-hmm. Is it weird knowing that I have to constantly sit still now? Did you ever notice it? <laughs> <laughs> Sucks. Bro, that would have been a good present. New chairs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck. The only person that's ever came with a present is Zach Peterson. Uh, Zach, what a great thank, present. Thank you, Zach. Nick's he's seen it now. He's seen it in person. Amazing. I'm going to post it on Instagram. Do not think I haven't. I, I've gotten way too bad with my OCD. Everything has a schedule now. It's fucking... Do you know my Instagram literally has a fucking 20 bullet point thing <laughs> that I go through and tick off for when I post what I post? Yeah. It's fucking getting bad. But... Yeah, it is what it is. All right, so you've been working away, working I away. I have, I have, I have. Tell us a little bit about that. Really yeah, so yes, I am living away at the moment. It's yep. good. Yeah, got back today. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I've had about four hours shut eye. Yeah, and yeah, you look pretty tired still. No, I, I feel yeah. good. I feel yeah. good. When I first saw you, you're like <laughs> half asleep. Yeah, you called me. I'm like, uh, I was like, I'm coming now. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, now, like, yeah, I'm coming now. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> like how you call it shut eye. <laughs> you yeah. couldn't even call that a sleep. Yeah, it was it's not sleep. Yeah. It's shut eye. Oh. Yeah. I'm good, but I was a good four hours sleep. Oh, sorry, I'm cutting you off. You're talking about living away. Yeah, anyways, I swear every time I call you, like, you're like, oh, yeah, I was just at Victoria. Or, I'm, oh, I was here, there, everywhere. Oh, yeah, I just flew to, like, Brisbane or something. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm working in Newcastle. I was like, what? <laughs> I spoke to you like a couple of days ago, and now you're here. Now you're there. Oh yeah, I just filmed a podcast in um, Melbourne. Like, Byron Bay, Melbourne. Oh, Byron yeah. Bay. Fuck, dude, you're right. I'm not a fucking traveler That's like crazy, that. Crazy, yeah. Doesn't feel like that, but I actually am always on the go. You are, and wow. it's just out of nowhere. Yeah, like kind you never of. mentioned it. You just like, oh yeah, I was here. I was like, when? <laughs> <laughs> like, I swear, I was on the last phone five here. days. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, I didn't really know I was getting this. Mm. Uh, opportunity but like my company were thinking about sending me down they're going to send someone else um everyone they they're very good for when you have personal things in your Mm. life they don't like tell you this has to happen Mm. so we kind of work together as a team and someone else said to me on my team do you mind going down i got stuff i have to take care of oh fuck honestly i don't know if i want to do that like i want to finish out the end of this project there's about three weeks left on top of that, I'm not really up to date with the podcast. Like, there's some things I have to work out. He explained his situation. 
And he's like, you know, but, but it's, he's, he's like, honestly, I, if you, you don't have to go. Mm. And I'm like, you know what, bro? Like, you're fucking pretty good to me. He's a good mentor. He trains me very well. I learn a lot. I'm like, do sort out what you have to sort out. Do not think about going down to the job. I'll go for the whole job. So then they ended up making me job runner. So I'm yeah. actually running this project, mm. which I was very, very grateful for the opportunity to do. I've been wanting to do it since I started. Although it is so much more stressful than I <laughs> thought it was going to be. Like, yeah. it's fucked. Because when you have an issue, there's no one to call, bro. Because yeah. it's the middle of the night. It's three o'clock in the morning. And it's like, fuck, I, I, there's no boss. There's no this, there's no that. So you kind of have to fucking send all your emails, go to bed, and wake up and hope it was yeah. sorted out by the time you go back to work. Like, for example, would be like the scissor lift just stopped working. Hmm. I need it. I better hope it's here by tonight, yeah. you know what I mean? So it's just little things like that. Yeah. Keeping a foresight on the whole project. It's been interesting. Mm. Um, but yeah, it's been it's been pretty cool. It's been a cool experience. Mm. Although it was n- really nice to come home. Yeah. Really nice to come home. Your own bed. Yeah, <laughs> Slippers. my own bed. <laughs> I, I, don't know if, I don't know how I'd ever handle a job where I'd be away for like a month straight. Mm. Coming home on the weekend is so important. <laughs> so important. Yeah. Yeah. You need your personal life as well. Oh, 100%. It's a bit lonely. Like, I have a cool new guy started. He's pretty cool. Greg, I mentioned, shout out to you again. I do get along with him really well. He's a good bloke. But it's also lonely because I'm a fucking interactive person. Mm. I talk to people oh, yeah. all day. So it's like on the way home, I fucking say I'm say I'm call someone, they didn't answer, and then I'll talk to a few other people. Mm. By the time they call back, and then I go back onto the fucking call log on my fucking car. I have to scroll. <laughs> fuck, how many fucking people have I called, bro? What the fuck? Yeah, so I am... When I get back, it's like, fuck yeah, I'm home. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, it'll yeah. be a good feeling. Yeah, it's cool. It's I know cool. you're pretty particular about your routines and that, so... I am, I am, I am. It's good because my fucking roommate, too, he wakes me up because mum wakes me up <laughs> now. So I'm like, what am I going to do? Um, I don't know, so it's weird. I fucking never ever wake up to my alarm. Really? When I went when I went to sleep today, like just for those few hours, I'm like, mm. is there any chance I can wake up when when I need to wake up yeah. today? I'm just gonna have to take the risk and hopefully Nixie calls me. So if it's <laughs> less than like five hours, I'll wake up because I never went into deep sleep. Yeah. If it's more than that, I go into my REM sleep. Mm. But I'll wake up to thirty missed calls. My alarm's been going off for two hours. Like sometimes my mum's busy and she doesn't. She just forgets to wake me mm-hmm. up. It's not her responsibility either. She so shouldn't have to <laughs> wake me not. up. Definitely not. I don't plan on it. She just wakes me up because I don't wake up. Anyway, so while I was down there, I'm explaining this to my roommate. So he's like, "Yeah, that's alright. I can wake you up." <laughs> One of the days, bro, it was like maybe it was fucking Thursday night, uh, Wednesday night. I'm like in bed. I'm dreaming, bro. And in my dream, I'm doing a stand-up comedy act. I'm full of, like, fucking preaching to the masses, bro. I'm, like, hitting jokes, too. I'm delivering mad jokes. I'm laughing and have a great time. And then someone's fucking making this noise. I'm, like, I just ignore it. I keep doing my bit, thinking it's going to go away. Someone's phone. Who the fuck's phone's going off? They're like, ha, 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 ha. Keep doing my bit. Then their fucking noise is still going on. I'm, like, seriously, where the fuck's that noise? I'm on stage, walking around, like, looking under shit. I'm, like, where the fuck is this noise? I'm going, whose phone? Everyone in the crowd, bro. Everyone's looking under their seat. Everyone's trying to do this thing. Yeah. What the fuck? Half an hour. <laughs> Half an hour in my dream of real time. Yeah. And then it's like, I open my eyes. And I'm like, that noise is real. <laughs> it's fucking real. What the fuck is it? And then yeah. I'm like, that's my alarm. <laughs> Holy shit, this is what it sounds like to wake up to your alarm, bro. <laughs> I never, ever, ever do it. Oh. And it was and, bro, it was such a weird experience, such a weird experience. But yeah, that was half an hour after I was meant to wake up. <laughs> Alarms killing your dreams. Oh, that is the worst. This didn't kill my dream. This wasn't my dream. <laughs> <laughs> you think how much better would your dream be if that line wasn't there? Oh, I think it made it. I think it was fucking <laughs> awesome, bro. Oh, yeah, it's good story it. to tell. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I loved it. It was cool. Mm. I get the experience of being a stand-up there. It was pretty mm. cool. Yeah. But yeah, alarms have definitely killed dreams for me in the past. I hate it when you're about to bone a hot chick in your dream, bro. Uh, or like just say like it's a love even a love story in your dream you're about to have a you've had a dream of like 
like a first kiss or anything like that, even if it was a long time ago when you're younger, but you dream of like your crush or something like that. And then, you know, it's just fucking fun. Like, I remember being a teenager and, you know, you're about to fucking make a move or something. <laughs> and then your alarm goes off and you're like, fuck, <laughs> take me back, take me back. Uh, yeah, I've had that many times in the past. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. My alarm, I wake up like one minute before it every single day. It's what? weird. Yeah, it's really weird. And like, when it does go off, like, boom, like first buzz. Wow. Wow. I don't know if I've just trained myself that, like, I just go bang. Like, mm. I never hear it. You dun, 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 just dun. Really? It's, oh, it's weird. It's actually really weird. That's a cool bar because you've definitely trained yourself. Because I think I've trained myself because I was snoozing for ages. Yeah. I'd wake up and hit snooze. So then I must have got used to the idea of the alarm not yeah. meaning wake up. Yeah. You know, so I've got to train myself to get out of that I'm again. I'm up straight away. Yeah, I've got to do I'm, that. I'm wide awake. But I get a lot of Wide away. awake? Yeah, you get a lot of sleep. Yeah, you have any 10 hours every day? Oh, it's I've had to wake up earlier, so it's about nine hours now. Nine, nine hours. Better, nine hours better. and 15 minutes, I guess. <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, it doesn't take me long to fall asleep. Mm-hmm. Like a minute and a minute. Yeah, yeah. So that's good. Even on weekends, you get that? Nine? Try, nine hours? Yeah, most mm-hmm. weekends. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But, so I get all this sleep. And I remember you saying, oh, you're missing out on so much. You're missing out on so much of your life. But you're sleeping in the most beautiful days ever. I know, like, I know. I'm working, like, on this rooftop of this, you know, high-rise building. Mm-hmm. I'm looking out. Oh, this is the most amazing day. <laughs> and you are sleeping, <laughs> missing out on the whole thing. I know, I know. But let me convince you <laughs> why, I, why it's not the worst. It's actually the best. Mm-hmm. Because when is the best time to be in bed? Think about it. When when is like bed the best feeling it's ever been? In the mornings. In the mornings. Yeah. Every single day yeah. when everyone has to get up yeah. out of bed, I get to go to bed for the first <laughs> time, bro. Every single day. Yeah. It's cold, but it's not too cold. Yeah. You put your feet yeah. underneath and it's like your feet are cold, but you know they're about to warm up, bro, and you get comfortable. <laughs> and it's like, oh, the, there's no sun coming in. No stress on that. But there's that little bit that's just like hitting that nice little glaze. Yeah. And you're like, oh, and you just get to oh, cuddle up to a pillow, bro. And you're like, <laughs> fuck you, world. Mm. Enjoy the day, <laughs> suckers. <laughs> Every day, bro. I love it. Fuck, I love it. Mm. I've gotten better with sleep, too. I would yeah. start at the beginning of the year, I'd probably get about four hours to five, maybe <laughs> five and a bit. Five hours and 15, probably on average. Mm. And then I just got fucking... My body started fucking dying, yeah. bro. Dying. If I get less than eight, I'm cranky. Like, oh, yeah. I'm a struggle. I was a bit cranky too. Mm. I was also like, my insides would hurt. Mm. I'd get, t- not tired easier, but like, I noticed that like, bashing your fingers hurts more. Little things hurt yeah. more, you know? And like, say my knee mm. would start to play up, all these yeah. things. And then, um, now I'm prioritizing sleep again. I'm mm. still doing good. I haven't had, like, I'll go to sleep tonight again. You know, I've had my, sh- yeah. oh, I only get four hours sleep. <laughs> Bullshit. But it's like, it's not. It was really a nap yeah. in the middle of a fucking 35-hour day. I had yeah. a nap. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, so I'm prioritizing sleep. I'll probably get seven, mm. seven and a half, to be honest. Yeah. So you've been doing long hours, like 12 days, haven't you? you see, how, how many hours are you doing? Well, I'm in Newcastle like now. I'm doing 8 a.m. to no, 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. starts. I'll try and do, like, 8.30. Yeah. And then I'll finish between... Seven and seven thirty to okay. eight, even still so, big. still yeah. eleven, twelve hour days, yeah. plus driving to the suppliers mm. afterwards every day. So then, <laughs> some days it's an extra two hours. Yeah. So call it between twelve and fourteen hour mm. days. Big days, yeah, they are big days. I'm definitely tired by the time I get home. Yeah, I'm definitely tired. Yeah, mm. Mm. <laughs> it's fucked, but I love it. I love it. The pay's worth it. Yeah. I, I love the responsibility. I, I'm not complaining. I'm very grateful, to be mm. honest. I love the ability to work. The ability to work is something I'm never going to take for granted. Yeah. Yeah. So like I'm doing 10-hour days now, and mm. so I think it's a struggle. It, it is, bro. Like it's good. Like, I like it. I catch, like, the metro and that, so it's a mm. bit... I get to relax in the morning, afternoon, but... Yeah. But that's still, like, what, an hour travel? No, it's... Honestly, it's only, like, a 20-minute trip. Mm. Like, mm. it's really quick on the metro, yeah. It's good. Yeah, nice. Nice. And it's not a big walk either. It's like mm. an eight-minute walk to site, so. Yeah. 
Well, then you have to also account for the fact that, like, you're doing your 10-hour shifts, <laughs> but then you've also got at least one hour of travel. Yeah, at least. Like, it's a big day. It's always oh, a big yeah, day. Oh, yeah, it's a big day, yeah. I'm lucky. I'm, I'm literally living fucking seven minutes from where I'm working. Yeah. So when my day's done, my day's done. Yeah. There's no fucking around. Mm-hmm. So when I say I have a 12, 13-hour day, that's it. There's no mm-hmm. travel time. Fucking, I can include a shower in that fucking 13 and a half yeah. hour shift. So, like, your days are technically almost as big as mine, if oh, not yeah. the same. So, yeah. Yeah. So, like, it, it's all just about, if I was working, how good are those dogs? <laughs> if I was working. Oh, they're alive. Like, like an hour away, like yeah. I usually do, not doing 12-hour shifts. Yeah. Not happening. <laughs> Max I'll do is an 11-hour shift. Yeah. Yeah. All about fucking. <laughs> You gotta learn how to say no when you yeah. work, and it's good to work. And I just said how grateful I am, but you also have to learn how to say no. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I get the pr- six days. Like you do six. You I do f- six. Bro, yeah. I can't do that. I can't do that. Yeah. I'm, de- I'm, I'd be so depressed. It doesn't suit my lifestyle. Yeah. I can't do it. I've been used to. It. I've been doing six ever since I was an apprentice. Yeah, it's only seven hours on a Saturday now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's worth it. Yeah, it's worth for the money. One hundred percent. Makes yeah. it. It's almost like your whole week's <laughs> wage again. You know, almost. <laughs> Like, it's fucking crazy. Mm. But I just think, for me, it's just not necessary. Yeah. It's definitely not necessary. I'm already doing nights. I'm already getting the penalty rates. Why fucking do it again? Mm. Like, what's an extra day? Mm. Yeah, there's no bonus for me to work on a Saturday. You know what I mean? Mm. It's the same as working a, and a Wednesday twice in a row. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right, well, that brings no, me no, to... No, wait, 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 wait. Sorry to cut you off, but I just... I, I've, got, I've got something actually to have to tell you. Mm. I, was, I was going to actually bring this up, but I forgot to. But today, you're going to think this is funny. Mm. I went to the supplier because on site at the place I'm working, they're so strict with like safety. Mm. So you, if you leave site, you have to like strap everything on site up. Like this has to be yeah. strapped next to this that's strapped next to this, then this. So I probably got like 10 straps on site, maybe more. And then I had to go to the supplier and pick up more lengths of uni strap mm. on top of my roof. So I get there, I'm like, sorry, boys, I'm going to have to buy a pack of straps. These have straps. Like, no, we don't have any. I'm like, oh, fuck, boys, I need one. They're like, we have a spare one we can give you. I'm like, thank you. I'll organize to get it back to you. And they're like, no, no, just keep it. I'm like, all right, appreciate it. But I needed two. So I strapped the first, like, the I strapped the back to the middle mm-hmm. with the one strap. But the front, it's still sitting on the bar. I go over to it, I'm picking it up. It's still loose. I'm thinking, like, what am I going to do? As I'm thinking it, bro, I start taking my belt off. I wrap my belt around it. I pull the fucking belt tight. I clip the cunt in. And I wrap it up with my belt and I tighten it off. And I'm like, Jesus fucking Christ, bro. This works. This fucking works. I couldn't believe it, bro. I used, so, yeah, if anyone, if you're losing it, if you don't have a strap, Use your belt. It works perfectly fine. Okay, wow. <laughs> yeah. You know, yeah. I remember you pulled up to my house one day. You're like, oh, you're coming out the front. I see you driving up the street. You slam on the brakes and at least 50 pipes come flying <laughs> all over the road. I'm just like, what? <laughs> I know. I used to be so reckless with strapping shit to the roof, bro. You know, sometimes I've done this more than once. I'm like... I put a length of like drain on top of the roof. It's just 40 mil plastic. And it sits in the back. It used to fit between my ladders. I just jam it in there tight. And then on the front, if you wouldn't sit anywhere, I'm like, hmm. Could open my toolbox, get some duct tape, <laughs> tape it up. Or I could just not. So I'm just like, fuck it, it should be right. So I just leave it on my roof. I've got like a 20 minute drive. I'm just watching this thing now. I'm starting to get a bit of speed. It starts to get winded. Bounces, bounces, <laughs> bounces. And I see it going towards the edge of the fucking roof rack. I'm like, fuck. So then I put my head out the window. I catch the fucking drain. And then I'm like, oh, fuck. What am I going to do? I'm on the motorway. I'm like, ah, oh, fuck it. I'll just hold it, bro. So I hold it the whole trip. Then the next time I'm like, that worked pretty good. So I just jammed it in there. And then I'm just holding it out the window. I used to do that shit all the time. Uh. I've been pulling up at lights before where I've just, like, kind of stopped. Like, not it radically, just stopped. And I had, like, posse in the car with me. And this drain pipe just slides off, slides down, and just slides underneath <laughs> cars in front of me. I'm like... And then I look at him and he's like... We're looking around. No one saw us, bro. I'm like... Hmm. So then everyone starts driving and then I see it. I'm like, yeah, I'll just drive over it, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Someone else. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I used to be bad with straps. I used to be bad. 
I have done some stupid things though. <laughs> have I? Like I was, I was on your couch the other day, and your dad came in with his mate, and was just like showing him how you've done all the kitchen. It's looking really nice. Mm-hmm. We were just talking about the oven. Oh, like, yeah. oh yeah, Jake. Yeah. Oh <laughs> Did you yeah. Tell us about that. Oh, I was cracking up laughing. Oh. It was so funny how your dad was saying it. It was so stupid, bro. Dad's, dad's very good when it comes to renovations. Mm-hmm. Fuck that camera's still on. I'm gonna turn that camera off. Anyway, dad's very good when it comes to renovating because he pre-thinks everything out. Like yeah. he, he doesn't rush anything. He really takes his time. Everything <laughs> triple checked. Everything. So the what we had to do was we had to take the oven out. Then we had to refabricate the fucking spot that it sat in and then put the oven back in, but it had to go in at the same time as the cupboard. Mm. Not the hardest job in the world, but, like, <laughs> you needs a few people because the oven's heavy. Yeah. And I'm holding on to this fucking oven, bro, <laughs> and I'm still in my work clothes, I'm pretty sure. And, like, Uh-oh. it's sitting on my fucking buckle with my thing. <laughs> And then I'm holding it, and it's getting heavier. It's getting heavier. I'm like, oh, I'll just, I'll just, I'll just use my fucking waist to push this cut up. And I just push it, and it just goes. Tsh! All of a sudden, there's blood, and like this, just this oven's just shattered, bro. The door's just shattered on it. And Dad's just like, he did well. He didn't overreact. Yeah. He, he did. He did get pretty upset because yeah. he, he spent so much time making sure it didn't break. Yeah. Anyway, I smashed the oven. <laughs> My parents are like, oh, we're gonna have to buy a new oven. They look because you can't order material. You can't yeah. order parts from this mm. one brand. And I'm like, oh no. So and they're like, they look it up. Mm. It's gonna cost like something like sixteen hundred bucks for a new oven. Yeah. I'm like, no, I feel so bad. I feel so bad. So I went on Facebook Marketplace, found the same fucking oven, exactly. hundred bucks. I was like, off. sweet. So I went and we got that one. Ripped, we took it back home, ripped the door off it, and just replaced the yeah. door. And I was like, fuck, hundred bucks. That's actually all right. I ended up taking that oven to the scrapyard, mm. and I got like forty bucks for oh, it. Really? <laughs> <laughs> so everything worked out pretty well. Yeah. But your dad was stoked about it. He was stoked. He was stoked, eh? <laughs> Well, they almost had to spend like fucking almost two grand for a new yeah. oven. Yeah, I was like, nah, nah, don't worry about it. You can't do that. You can't do that. I would have had to pay for it. I would have felt too bad. Yeah, so that's the oven story. Thank you for bringing up the phone. That's Thank you. Good story. <laughs> Thank you for bringing up the oven story. Oh, I made a few mistakes. I got a bit of work to do tomorrow, actually. Mm-hmm. I got to rip the laundry apart. I have to like rerun the copper through the walls for yeah. this and make a new. Um, Taps and shit mm. like that. A little bit of work, but yeah. not too bad. It was good to come back home and do work. Do more work. <laughs> <laughs> more welding. Yeah. <laughs> but it'd be very rewarding it being in your own house. Mm. Kind of. Mm. Kind of, kind of, yeah. kind of. Not really. Okay. <laughs> You'd rather just relax. I don't want it. Yes. I don't want it. My mum wants it. Yeah. <laughs> not for her. Fair enough. It's going to be rewarding for her. Mm. Like, fuck yeah, I'm glad I had a boy. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, so you haven't been drinking? How many weeks has it been now? I'll tell you exactly how long it's been. Okay. Tell, tell me that, exactly, because I would like to know as well. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34 <laughs> weeks. 34 weeks divided by 4. What's 34 divided by 4? Quick maths. 8.5. 8.5 months. It's pretty good. I didn't even know I was 8 months in. Even though that's a lie, because this is your seat, and there's definitely bourbon in this. <laughs> but it kind of worked out, because I'm a little bit happy that I'm a little bit tipsy. <laughs> yeah. So I can talk about this next topic. Shut up. Don't try and do me like oh, that. Yeah. Okay, whatever then. All Don't right. believe me. All right, all right. Next topic. What's it, what do you need to be tipsy for? Oh, well, I probably wouldn't say this unless I did have some of your drink. <laughs> Don't. Don't do that. <laughs> Remember oh. a couple of weeks ago and we are talking about High School Musical? Yeah, 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 yeah. And we were like, right, yeah, if I remember just like pretending you were Troy. <laughs> So embarrassing, but oh, it's so true. <laughs> oh, oh, you want to bring it up? I Watch do. Watch me double down on this. <laughs> when I was a kid, right, I was in primary school. Yeah. I was probably even up to like 10, 11, dude. Yeah. I was getting into like year five, six at this point. I had a girlfriend. If you're ever listening, Danae, 
shout out to you, Danae, because you were my first real love. Mm -hmm. And like, I was a happy kid. We were a good couple. It was, it was young, innocent love. It was beautiful. I, I, I love love, especially back like, when I was younger. I loved love. Anyway, so I would watch High School Musical every <laughs> single week for years, bro. And I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I was Troy and Danae was Gabriella. So, like, whatever anyone wants to assume, oh, no, I used to pretend I was Troy. No, no, trust <laughs> me. I was Troy. She was Gabriella. Like, every part of the movie I used to recreate in my head of doing it in school. I loved the movie. And do you know what? I have listened to that song, songs, Breaking Free, um, uh, Start of Something New, <laughs> all of these beautiful love songs between them, even the Gabriella solo ones, all of them. And I still think that I'm Troy and she's <laughs> Gabriella, bro. And I listen to them every week, yeah. every well. single week. I'll drive to work, listen to my podcast, and you know what? You know what? I think it's time. I'll just I'll look up Troy on fucking <laughs> <Troy>. Spotify. Because <laughs> that's actually the artist. Yeah. It's actually Troy. Well. And then, oh, dude, I get, I get down with it, bro. I'm, t I'm still that kid, bro. I'm still that kid. I love High School Musical. <laughs> bro, that's so, so funny. Much. I love High School Musical. Bro, I was in the backyard doing the bus walk on like that and stuff. <laughs> oh, bro, so embarrassing, but oh, I was full doing that. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Basketball moves, dancing. What time is it? Summer time. It's time for vacation. <laughs> Love it, love it, love it. I'm watching Austin music tonight. Yeah, like cut. <laughs> We're back. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm glad you did so that. Funny. I love it. No, I love it so much. Great you know what else I know every word to, which I still listen to? Ho down, throw down. My heart, Hannah yeah. Montana. Another great movie. Goat fucking movie. <laughs> Goat song, bro. Oh, I love that song. Yeah, so last week, me and Jackson, we were listening to the Ho Down, Throw Down in the car. Mm. And because of Alfred's birthday, yeah. anyway, we went to the drunk dumpling. We haven't been there in a year, probably mm. a year. And while we're there, they're like, "Oh, sorry, we we um, we we lost your booking. Is yeah. it okay if you share this table with another group?" Yeah. And it's the mad table. It's the VIP yeah. one. It's the one that everyone always wants. I've mm. never sat on it before. I'm like, "Oh yeah, it should be fine." Making jokes, they can pay for mm. our dinner, all these things, right? So we're sitting there. Happy birthday, Jackson. Really appreciate you. Blah blah blah. Mm -hmm. And then the other group come in for their yeah. thing. Guess who it was, bro? It was Jack Bolding and his mates for his birthday. Oh, no we way. shared the same fucking table, bro. Right. <laughs> what are the chances of that? That's fantastic. That is crazy, dude. I, I literally was sat there and I'm like, life is fake, bro. Like, everyone's like, ha ha, how funny this. I'm just sitting there like, this is actually <laughs> fucked up. What are the actual chances right. that we're sharing a table for your birthday? <laughs> it was fried, That's dude. That's crazy. It was fried. I think it was fucking... Mm. But shout out to Drunk Dumpling. If you've never oh, been to bro. Drunk Dumpling, you've been... Amazing. Best so food. Good. Best food. And it was even better because it messed up our order. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, So yeah, we yeah. ordered so much. Mm -hmm. Came to pay. I was like, oh, yeah, just 160 I was like, yeah, no worries. Mm. Paid out of there. <laughs> so maybe I shouldn't put that in. <laughs> no, no. Fuck them. Fuck them. <laughs> Stupid At the time when you we won't put this bit in. Stupid. <laughs> <laughs> right, don't. I won't put that in. I won't put that in. Yeah, but like, um, <laughs> honestly, if you, if you haven't been to Drunk Dumpling, if you want to go with me, hit me up. Anyone listening, it's the best restaurant Amazing. I've ever been to. Price is actually really good. Oh, so good. Really good. Between four people, you usually spend less than 300 Between four. Okay. Fuck, it's amazing. Well, maybe they didn't mess it up then. How much, how, was it just you and Julia that went? And two others. And two others. Yeah, yeah, you definitely would have spent more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's usually around 250 to 320 yeah, for I think four they people. Just, I and, think that's, they, and that's for good food and good drinks. I think they just charge us for the food. Yeah. Well, nah, you'd be surprised. It's a yeah, lot of money. It adds up. Yeah. We, we got 50, 58 dumplings this mm -hmm. time when we went, and we got four mains, mm -hmm. like including the rices. Yeah. I think four, eight. 10, 11 drinks, mm. and it was about 265. Yeah. So it was a good price. Oh, it was good. It is a yeah. reasonable price there. Yeah. yeah it's amazing. It's yeah. Really good food. Drinks the last really time, nice. Jackson's ate so much food. <laughs> the last time we went, I ate 45 dumplings around that, yeah. and he ate like 60. 
<laughs> man can eat. <laughs> he can eat, dude. Especially this time when we went, I'm like, I'm literally like so full that I had to go take a shit because I did not have any more room. Yeah. And then you thought I wouldn't bring it up. If you, I know you're probably not listening, but someone will be listening. We'll bring it up to Jack. I'm in the toilet, bro. And I, trust me, um, what's the word? <laughs> TMI. TMI. All right. So be mindful. But I'm on the toilet and I'm cool. thinking to myself like, this fucking stinks. I'm like, <laughs> I do not stink this bad. This is actually disgusting. <laughs> I've never smelt this before. And I'm like, something's wrong. I might have to get something checked out. This is that horrible smell. But it's only like towards the end. I've already gone to the bathroom and I'm on my phone and on TikTok. Anyway, so I get out and there's a guy vomiting in the trough. I'm like, ah, you'll be right, buddy. I just have this random bloke. I'm like, ah, you'll be right, buddy. And then like, this guy gets up. He goes, I'm vomiting, bro. I'm vomiting. I'm like, Jack, what are you doing? I'm like, and his mate's like, ha, ah, look at this guy, look at this guy. But that's standard. Oh, like, I just, you'll be right, bro. You'll yeah. be right. Get it all out, Jack, boy. Get it all out. <laughs> oh, oh, I think they're going to hate us by the yeah, end of this podcast. I'm vomited. <laughs> Drunk dumpling and not going to want us to come back. Nah, they will, they will. Trust me, I'll be a fucking spokesperson for that <laughs> company, bro. Yeah. God. I'm going to take everyone a Drunk dumpling. <laughs> Fuck yeah, best food in the world. No link in the description. <laughs> so, 40 episodes in. 40 episodes in, yes. Your uh, upcoming goals and plans. Mm. Are you allowed to share or, or any thoughts? Yeah, we'll share, we'll share, we'll yeah. share. Because I did have... Um, I sat down with Aiden Zibaris, mm. so we've already filmed that episode. That's coming out, episode 41. Yeah. I don't remember how much of it I talked about on the podcast with him, but just in case I didn't, I may as well say as well. I've already planned out episode 42 is com- coming over tomorrow to be filmed. And then I've already got the next, say, four to five guests booked in to come as well. Mm-hmm. Hopefully there's not going to be any issues, but there will be. So I'll just have to be mindful of that. And I buy episode 52, which is going to be a one-year episode. And for everyone listening, episode 50 is going to be Damo coming back over and doing another swap cast. Uh, it's about time me and him did it. Plus, I think 50 episodes is a yeah, pretty, pretty big episode. Um, by episode 52, I would love to have the new setup good, all finished. Yeah. Originally, I would just like I would just wanted to have the new setup so I could have more than one guest at a time. Mm. Changing the whole thing. I've mentioned the mock trials that I'm going to yeah. start doing. Yeah. But I'm going to start doing something else too. Okay. I'm going to start having game show nights. Oh, yes. Game shows mm. would be fun. Be I, want, I want to have competitions where people verse each other in certain things. And there'll always be prizes. Mm. Always be prizes. I want to start having like, you know, the game where you look inside the box. It's called uh, Steal or Keep. And one person looks in it. And if they have the prize, oh, yes. they shut it. Yeah, it's so lie. good. Yeah, bro. I'm, I can't wait. I'm going to start doing all sorts of things like that. Mm. I'm going to change the channel to not just be a podcast, which is yeah. the ultimate thing, mm. but also be something that can have like fun reunions, yeah. no, like exciting. competitions, yeah. have full tallies on the yeah. walls of memorabilia, like merchandise mm. even. I can't wait to start making some hoodies and shit. Yeah. Like, uh, there's, there's some exciting, exciting things coming for the podcast. It just, it, it really does take it's a, it's the quote from before is it one day or is it day one mm. it takes initiate initiative you have to just be like no nah, today's when i need to start doing mm. it it's just fucking time bro time's mm. hard and since i've been saving all year i don't want to i don't i really don't want to start spending the money yeah. like it's hard i'm becoming a full jew yeah like, like <laughs> a full M. sorry i know you're jewish <laughs> Sorry, no, no offense. Over no, that's all right. None taken. <laughs> no, I haven't got my hat on today. <laughs> yeah, I was just gonna edit one in, so no, I don't have to. <laughs> yes, but yeah, it's crazy. And you're so good at like even hosting. Like we had the beer Olympics a couple of weeks back, and yeah, Jack was the host, and he killed it, crushed oh, thank it. Thank you, thank you so well. I loved it. Do you, do you, I don't know. I always get this weird thing where people think. I think when people are saying it, they're just saying it to be nice, mm. but like. I didn't feel like I crushed it. I really don't. Do you really like be a hundred percent honest with me? Because yep. I would rather you tell me what could have been improved instead of just telling me I crushed it. <laughs> I thought you did amazing. It was good. All right. Maybe I'm too critical. Maybe I'm too critical. I think it was maybe there was too many people. 
which is why you might think that. So it's mm. a little bit harder to um, like coordinate, yeah, coordinate, mm. get everyone's attention. Yeah, attention's hard. I thought that would be difficult anyway. Mm. I, I thought I just maybe I wanted to be able to have more witty comments and mm. more quick fucking hey, quick jokes and shit like yeah. that. I guess that just take your practice. Mm. But I love hosting. I yeah. think I would, I think I would be able to ki- make a killer game show. Mm. Yeah. And there's bro. no podcast like it, bro. Mm. There's no podcast that we could just have a group hangout. Yeah. Hope no one steals this idea. <laughs> they shouldn't. No one yeah. watches this podcast that doesn't know me. Yeah. But it'd be cool to have the boys hanging out, kicking back, having a laugh, having a good mm. time. And then all of a sudden, oh, fucking pre- hit a button, bro. Have a siren go off. <laughs> it's time. I yeah. get up and I make people compete against something. <laughs> There's nothing like that at, at all. Mm. I think it'd be really, really cool. Really cool. Yeah. It's almost time to start doing the TikToks. Yeah. It's almost time. I, I've 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 heard a lot of times start doing it, mm-hmm. but it's, I've just known it's not the right time. It's almost time. Um, there's a couple of guests that I really want to look at getting on, and uh, that I'm going to really try to get on. Mm-hmm. There's a guy I don't even know how to pronounce his name, so I'm not going to try. But he if he's, he's the he's the what does he call himself the pothole king or something? Have you seen him on <laughs> no, TikTok? I He's a he's a Lebanese guy, I think, yeah. and he lives in like Bankstown, or he's from that area. And yeah. He's like, he starts off like, we got to get these potholes fixed, you know. So who wants to get these potholes fixed? Then all of a sudden, the the council would go fix the pothole. Yeah. So he started doing this for ages, yeah. and then now he's like going into restaurants, reviewing them. Okay. He just met Jason Derulo. Like this is just a guy that I've been watching on TikTok for ages. Maybe you have seen him actually. He just he just somehow TikTok asked him, "Do you want to come meet Jason Derulo?" He's like, "Yeah." So he interviewed him. <laughs> I'm like, wow, this did guy's go, like, doing bits. Did he I'm have like, something to do with like jet skis or something? Yeah, yeah, he went yeah, to the jet the, ski yeah, shop, yeah, custom yeah, jet skis. Yeah. He's okay, done, yeah, um, I like him, man. He's good. He's done Queen Street Customs, mm. the car shop in uh, Milpera. All yeah, these he's good. cool shit, bro. Yeah. And it's like, I've always wanted to reach out to him. I mm. might have. I can't remember if I did. But he's friends with Moe Duwari, who came mm. and did a podcast already. Yep. Great episode again. Great episode. Go check that out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you haven't seen it, great that episode. That was good. So I'd love to sit down with this guy. Very interesting. I think he's doing really well. Mm-hmm. There's a couple of other people like that. I won't give too much away. Yeah. But for a while, it's just been focused on friends, friends mm-hmm. and family. Yeah. And I've enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it. I've enjoyed it. it. Like, it's it's cool meeting people for the first time, but there's nothing mm-hmm. like m- catching up with someone you want to mm-hmm. see. There's nothing better. The banter's there. The jokes are there. Yeah. It's fun. It's like I get to remember it. Like, no offense to anyone who who I ever do do a podcast with, but it is the first time. Mm. I love doing them. But it's also really good to catch up with the boys. Yeah. It's so good. Yeah. yeah. I'm kind of running out of boys, but <laughs> realistically, there's not too many of the boys left. Probably another... Probably got another 30 episodes mm. that I know I can do. Yeah. Yeah. But I've got to start. I've got to start fuck upgrading some shit. And you've also done the sentimental podcast, like with Graham and Beth, your grandparents. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They were good ones. I Great really enjoyed. Ones. Did you like those ones? I did. Really yeah. liked hearing about it. Yeah. And even like about the museums. Like, yeah. How are they gonna like move them? Yeah, yeah. That is crazy. That is crazy too. Maybe mm. I need to have a another one soon. Yeah, I reckon. Post move of the museum. Mm. Maybe I'll do a live one. That's another thing I'm also thinking about doing too. Is there anything wrong with going out and doing live interactive Mm -hmm. things for things like TikTok, you know? Obviously, it's not a Mm YouTube-based thing, but just having, like, um, one of those... I've got the Rode mics. We're we're meant to do golf videos with them, which we never did. (laughs) They were funny. (laughs) They were funny. We're good. And I bought these things just so we could make golf videos, and then we fucking never did it. Speaking of, I played golf with Cooper Mm. the last Sunday. Last Sunday. It was good. It was so good to be back out, bro. Mm. So good. Yeah. I loved it. Dude, ask him about this drive I hit. Uh, um, I said, you know that hole five for everyone listening? Sorry, we're going to talk golf for two minutes. But you know Fox Hill hole five where you first get to the trees and you just have that fucking corridor mm-hmm. of trees? That's the par three. No, no, this one's the par, par four. four. I mean, the four. hole four. Yeah, the hole. Yeah, and oh, it goes, hole, four. hole four goes round and then you got the trees round. This one is like, oh, no, it's not par four then because... Hole four. Hole four. No, because hole three is the difficult one. Hole mm-hmm. four is the long one. Hole five is next. So hole six. Hole six, yeah. Hole six. Straight. You've got the corridor. Straight. Corridor, yeah. yeah. Anyway, I'm like to him, you know what? This is the T. This is the T. He's mm-hmm. like, what do you mean? I'm like, this is the one where I hit it as hard as I can. And I, I, I get this. I, I'm going to get a hole in one. Mm-hmm. I knew I was going to get a hole in one. 
that I just creamed this ball as hard as I possibly mm. could and just by luck it hit in the center of the ball, bro. I mean like I hit it within 25 meters mm. from the flag. Like I mean I cleared 160, 170, 180 meters, bro. It was great. Perfect drive. Yeah. I re- to be honest, no, I would have had to have cleared 200, mm. 210. It was great drive. Probably went further than that. Yeah, you're probably yeah. right. Because that's a par four. Yeah. No, you you probably hit it like 280, I reckon. Oh, I hit it. Oh, yeah. no. It was one of the hardest hits I've ever done. Like, you're probably right, because I can hit 230 yeah. at the driving range easily. I think, I think you, like, meters, because we don't have the range finders, mm. I think we hit it further than what we think. Yeah, probably right. Yeah. Yeah, because at the driving range at Penrith, they have a thing. If you haven't been anyone mm. listening, it's a great place to go, because it will track how far you hit. And I can hit 180 minimum, so you're probably right. Yeah. Oh, it felt good. Golf ranges. I went there the other day because I'm trying to perfect my drive because mm-hmm. I've been have, having a massive struggle. Mm-hmm. I hit the back fence. I was like, why can't I just do this really? on the golf course? Yeah, I know, I know. It's like, what? Because you're belting it, bro. You're trying to. And the range, like, you're also, like, I mean, in the course, you're also, like, a bit scared to hit it too hard. Yeah. You don't want to get your ball out of bounds. Yeah. So you try and play it safe. Mm. <laughs> so it's like your window is actually so limited because you're trying to play it safe in the furthest position. Mm. Just hit it, bro. Just hit it. <laughs> just hit it. Yeah. I, played, I, I don't think I lost one ball. Yeah. Mm. Played a couple of weeks ago. I was probably 30 metres out. Mm. Chipped it. Went straight in. I was like, oh, look at me out. Oh. No one said it. I was like, oh. oh. <laughs> it's the worst. <laughs> right. It's like, yeah, it's a, oh. <laughs> It's so, oh, that's mad. That's mad. Like, I love playing by myself. Yeah. I feel like it takes more time. I feel like I play a lot better. But when you hit them good shots, yeah, the chance of it going in. On top of that, too, you play with someone else, you're never going to hit that. And never, <laughs> never. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm trying to, I actually use you as a bit of an inspiration to how good I want to get. <laughs> I swear. Hmm. I think to myself, like, I'd love to be as good as Nixie. I and Fisher, it. Fisher's very good too. Fisher's very good. Fisher's very good too. I just think he's a, he's a fucking just so much better than me. But the thing is, Fisher's so competitive, yeah. and I'm competitive, and we always are so close to our scores. Yeah, like, yeah. Fish. Like, why can't he just be like ten shots worse than me? Like, yeah. I, wanna... I beat him last time. Oh really? Yeah, I beat him last time. It was a good feeling. Good out of Also, beat me. got twenty bucks off Cooper. We played five bucks <laughs> a hole on this line. I was good. Suck shit, Coops. <laughs> Yeah, it was good. Yeah. He was getting the shits too, eh? He loved it. He was getting the shits. Very annoyed how good he is. <laughs> and now we're going to play and you're going to be better than me. So. Yeah, yeah, I will. I'll we'll be will. annoyed at you we'll too. Play five bucks a hole. <laughs> I'm really enjoying little bets. This mm. is, I'll talk about this on the next podcast too with Aiden, but like, yeah. I'm really enjoying doing like $1 bets. I'm really enjoying doing yeah. like really cheap things, you know, yeah. back and forward. Mm. So much more fun than I've been having gambling. So yeah. much more fun. Dollar is the funnest thing to bet. Yeah. Honestly, it really is. Because it's stupid. Yeah, it's, it's stupid. stupid. Yeah. yeah, I love it. Mm. Love it. So we'll play five bucks off. <laughs> Not a dollar. We're going to tee it up then. Yeah, mm. yeah. I reckon I could probably... Two weeks on. Mm. Two weeks on we'll play a game. Sounds yeah. good. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, two weeks. I think, yeah, three. Yeah, because next Pretty week good. we've got Patty's engagement. Yeah. Congratulations. So this episode <laughs> comes out... The day after, I had a great time last night at Pat's engagement. <laughs> yeah, this comes out on Monday. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you're right, you're right, you're it's right. It's going to be right. next week. Sorry, I was thinking That's too Aiden. far ahead. Yeah, <laughs> thinking too far ahead. Yeah. All right. Good thing, good thing that you watch the podcast. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, I am very excited to Patrick, for Patrick. Uh, I'm, I'm proud of him. I am proud of him. It's not easy fucking being in a long-term relationship. It's not. It's like, it is. But it takes balls, it takes commitment, it takes, mm. like, you know what I mean, having your own house together, being engaged. Mm. They're literally getting ready to have a family, bro. They have two dogs. It's, amazing, yeah. it's exciting to see your friends do do that. It really mm. is. I am very, very proud of him. I think Pat's a bit of a dickhead. I, I can't lie. I love him. He's one of my best mates. He's a dickhead. Love you, Of Pat. course. <laughs> love him. Love him. But he's, but he's a good example for what needs to be done. He does it every time. Mm. Great example. So shout out to Patty Boy. Shout out to Patty Boy. <laughs> birthday Boy. Yeah. <laughs> birthday Boy. Oh, it's his birthday today. That's right. We said that. Yeah, we said it. <laughs> yeah. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. Good day. Good day to that. What else is there? I'll tell you what else is there. I fucking pick my nose a lot, right? <laughs> and because it's been really cold, yeah. whoever, 
I don't know. I think I must have just had a really dry nose and I went to go scratch it. Hmm. My nail was a bit too long <laughs> and I fucking scratched at the same time as I expanded my nose hmm. and it split and I scratched my nose from literally the front here all the way as far back as my finger can go. If you ever pick your nose, anyone picks their nose, you have, you know, everyone knows about that wall. <laughs> it does it. Everyone knows that wall at the back that kind of feels like it's almost like a barrier, like it's mm. a different feeling. It's the thing that gets wet and the front all gets dry. I scratched it from the front to the back and it split. Like, I mean, proper split. And every day it gets worse and worse and worse. So if I spare my nose like that, oh, it just rips it open. It just, <laughs> and I can't stop picking the bloody thing, bro. <laughs> so I, I wake up and it's just like a mountain of dry blood and booger in my nose. And I'm like, <laughs> Don't touch it, don't touch it, don't mm. touch it, don't touch it. I'll keep my hands, like, in my gloves at work. And then, like, after a while, say I have to take my gloves off. I want to fucking write something down, do something on my phone. I'm like... <laughs> just a little, just a little one. <laughs> you always have to turn I'm around just and just act natural. Just scratching. <laughs> oh, I don't give a fuck either. <laughs> I'm so comfortable picking my nose. Mm. They're like, I'll meet someone for the first time and I'll just talk to them while I pick my nose. Like, I do not give a fuck. Fuck, dude. Anyway, so I'm like, yeah. I'm like, oh, fuck. sorry about that, buddy. <laughs> nah, nah. So like, I mean, like, I'll do it. Like, uh, the little one. So I'm like, and then I'm like, damn it, why did I do that? So I just go, fuck it, and I will just shove my finger in it, and I'll rip the whole fucking scab up, bro. I'm, Damn it. And then my nose is piss and blood, bro. <laughs> Every night. Not getting any better. My nose is fully fucked. Fully fucked right now. That's what else is happening. Yeah. Well, thank you for everyone still listening. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 So you mentioned gloves before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got a new job and it's a lot more PPE and oh, I love my gloves. <laughs> I never take them off now. Gloves are the best invention ever. I know, I know. I used to tell you I love wearing my safety gear, and you're like, bro, what the fuck? Fuck that. I wear fucking gear. Nike shoes, yeah. and I wear fucking shorts, and sometimes I wear no shirts. <laughs> and I'm like, nah, you cowboy, bro. You fucking cowboy. Now, definitely cowboy. How good is it? Oh, it's amazing. I'm yeah. comfortable. I'm safe. Yeah, yeah. Got yeah. me hard hat on. It's a bit annoying, but oh. kind of get used to it. But how good is that fucking Milwaukee hard hat I sent you? It's amazing. You gonna get it? I can't find it, but I can't find, I can't it, find all the attachments. Like I found, yeah. I think it was on Amazon. It was a helmet. But yeah. It just said Milwaukee. Yeah, I have seen that too. I don't. I don't. It said one left. Yeah. I don't know if it's the same one. Yeah. But when that comes out, yeah, we'll get them. I'll move you. I'll move you. Head Everyone listening, full pack out. Oh, it's hard hat. It's very light duty as well. It's not gonna stand as heavy as it is, but it has like clippable attachments for your pens, your safeties, your earmuffs, your the torch, like everything, everything has a fucking clip on. Full pack out, fuck, greatest thing. I can't wait to own that thing. Can't right. wait. Milwaukee. I'm so tempted to just go complete Milwaukee. It's hard, eh? Oh, I just have way too much Makita. I have way too much DeWalt. I'd have to spend thousands, bro. Thousands. I've spent thousands, so I can't. Yeah. I've started getting um, a bit of Milwaukee there. Mm. The M12 range. Me too. My 12 range is getting pretty it's good. good. My 12 range is looking pretty good. Got my laser good. levels. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good. Yeah, I love I love my um Milwaukee as well. I love the tools. It's too hard to replace tools, bro. Yeah. It's the end of the financial year, so if you're gonna do it, it's the best time to do it. Mm. But nah, I can't justify dropping another seven, eight K on tools, bro. No Fuck, I've got, I got too much. I got way too many DeWalt batteries. Yeah. Like, they're like two fifty each. Yeah, yeah. I can't, I can't. I oh, know, I'll can't be, do I'm it. with you. Can't yeah. do it either. I'm very passionate about my tools. Yeah. Me too. But speaking of, we actually had to go to the uniform store together. When do you mm-hmm. want to do that? You have no time tomorrow? Not tomorrow. Not tomorrow. Oh, I might just get you a couple pairs anyway. <laughs> I'll get you the gloves. Get but those. I'm all Milwaukee kitted out. I got everything Milwaukee. Trust so that's me. my power tools, everything. Trust me. The gloves you're wearing are shit. Oh, they're good. They're shit. I also got the snow ones. They're good. <laughs> Except they're not actually snow ones. Because yeah. I took them to the snow. They are not waterproof. <laughs> yeah. My hands are freezing and wet the whole day. Oh, my God. I love the snow, bro. I can't love wait it. to go back to the snow. Booked in. Oh, yeah? When? Yep. End of um, June. Oh, so, only a couple so of weeks. close, bro. So excited. Damn, I should book it in, too. I so should really excited. book in a snowboarding weekend away. 
It would have been a good weekend to go this weekend, long weekend. Yeah, it would have been. Yeah. Oh, but it's um actually getting pushed back because there's not enough snow. Oh, really? So we're hoping that we didn't book too early. Mm-hmm. But when you if you want to go, I'll go again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, sweet. Yeah. When's snow time end? It's a... I think it's an October long weekend. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Okay. So maybe like August we'll go. Yeah. August. Yeah. Oof. It's for a weekend. Oof. Got me RDOs. Yeah, fuck yeah. We're good. I'll just take a fucking couple of days off. Have a yeah. long weekend. Yeah. Because even like what we're doing is we're just going to leave Friday after work. Yeah. Snowboard's Saturday, Sunday. And I took Monday off. So yeah. come back Monday. Yeah. I think yeah. that's the way to do it. Mm. Get your money's worth. We went mm. only one day last year. So mm. I think nice. A bit, a bit. Nah, bit I haven't been since days. I was in school, bro. So far. <sighs> Can't so wait. Cool. You have to look forward to it all year. Yeah, I know. I look forward to it all year and then I don't go. <laughs> and then through winter, I'm like, fuck yeah, I can't wait to go uh, wakeboarding in summer. Yeah. And then I don't go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ever. Yeah. I'm like, fuck yeah, it's really wakeboarding season. People go, you go wakeboarding? Yeah, yeah, I fucking love wakeboarding. And then I don't yeah. go. For like five years. Yeah. Well, I guess that's like the good thing because when I went last year and then this year in summer, mm. I learned how to water ski. Mm. So I was. Uh, I kind of was all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I seen you fucking uh, on TikTok, bro, <laughs> skiing in a suit. That skiing in a mad. suit. That was yeah, that was funny. That was bad. <laughs> that was mad. One of my stupid ideas, but I thought it was good. <laughs> yeah, I love it. I love your TikTok, bro. I love, I love it. Bro, I love it. I love the golf videos. I love the, like, never getting my girlfriend to record me again. <laughs> I love that video. There'll be links in the description. Great TikToks. Just scroll down if you're listening. Just click on it. You'll have a laugh. Yeah, oh, my surfing video. Yeah. I was like to Juliet. I was like, can you record me? She records me. I fall over. Yeah. She goes, sits down. I catch this mad wave. I'm like, you didn't get it? I got this. Me falling over. <laughs> yeah. It was still funny though. I'm happy. But... Yeah. And you're like, did you put that sound effect? <laughs> Hooray! Hooray! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> See, I thought that was funny. Yeah. The golf ones are that funny, but that's stupid. I can't even watch them. I love I just them. cringe watching I watch them, them all now. the time. I <laughs> fucking love them. They're so funny. Oh. oh, man, I love it. I love videos, bro. I love making videos. Mm. They're one of the best things in the world. Do you still have your TikTok? I have no videos on my TikTok. Oh, that was so none. funny. My favorite one was when your old co workers, uh, Mick. Yeah, he was yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Ah! <laughs> The Jack in the Box. <laughs> that was so funny. Yeah. I love that one, dude. I, um, that reminded me, I don't know how it reminded me. Yeah, this is how it reminded me. Um, because I have this challenge going at the moment that I'm yeah. doing. Uh, no bust. Okay. So it just has to be complete, what's the word, celibacy. Mm. No girls, no nothing. Can't, like, I'm trying, I've cut out pornography anyway. Pornography's mm. bad, but like. No masturbating, nothing. Mm, for good. one month. That was my... Mm. Someone challenged me to it, so I'm about to win a dollar. Mm. I'm 19 days in. I'm not going to lie, it's so freaking hard. It's so hard. It's like... Anyway, it's, it's a good challenge for me mm. anyway. And um, I won't go into too much detail. But anyway, there's this hot chick that I follow on TikTok. Mm. Really hot chick. Oh, I'm a massive fanboy. Mm-hmm. And I've been commenting on it like... A, day 10 day 10 i'm staying strong and then the next day i'll post day 11 staying strong now i've got like a fan base bro what people like you? like it people are like keep going champ like you <laughs> keep going champ stay strong you're a king all this shit so every day i just post it again for the update people are like good to know you're staying strong brother like your inspiration oh. <laughs> it's so funny bro that's what i love about tiktok bro there's so many communities inside of communities like it's amazing. What did you say before? TFI? TMI. <laughs> TMI. TMI. Oh, uh, I just thought. It's a good challenge if anyone wants to try it. You like your challenges? No like matter challenges. how weird and wacky they are. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Very hard challenges on. Because I went to work, right? <laughs> and I like... I said to the lads, someone mentioned... Uh, he, he was meant... Someone mentioned... Someone got a vasectomy because he didn't want to have any more kids. Mm. And then one of the other guys, he's like, oh, dude, I was booked in to get a vasectomy, but the doctor told me I couldn't uh, jerk off four days beforehand. I got to the fourth day and had to call up and cancel. <laughs> you couldn't do it. And I'm like, you couldn't go four days? Four days? You fucking animal? And he's like, oh, no, I couldn't do it. I'm like, how often do all you guys jerk off? And everyone's like, everyone goes like, exactly like this. Oh, every day. I'm like, every day? Yeah, so that, that's a problem. I'm like, is that normal? I'm like, and I was actually the weird one for not mm. doing it every day. I'm like, 
the people do that every single day like that's that's crazy to me i think to myself like it's kind of like i don't know i feel like it's just try not to be judgmental but it's like it's almost like fuck i'm just gonna say it, it seems sad to do it every day yeah, but sad. Like, just say i did two days imagine I three days in a row i'm thinking like i've got a problem yeah. like no more like that's a problem so it's just like that is very sad. Yeah, yeah it's, every day it's too much. It's sad. It's too. I get it. It's natural. It's normal, but it's also like you got to give yourself like limitations. You can't just let yourself do whatever you want to do whenever you want to do it. Surely it's not healthy for your mental health to be doing that every day. And I'm no expert. For everyone listening, I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm just, I'm just thinking out loud. But I don't think it's normal to be doing that. No, sorry, I'll rephrase that. I don't think it's healthy. To be doing anything every day. Mm. It's obviously not healthy to be vaping. It's obviously not healthy <laughs> to be drinking every day. It's obviously not healthy to be eating Maccas every day. Mm. I can't imagine that jerking off would be any different. Anything that you have done every day, smoking weed, anything that's enjoyable that you do every day can't be healthy. Mm. You know what I mean? Even when it comes to like a, a happy long-term relationship, spending every day together, no matter how fun it is, it's mm. not healthy. You have to go have breaks. You have yeah. to see your friends. You have to spend time with your family. Mm. Just being with your family every day, you got to have a break. you got to go spend time by yourself. Being by yourself every day, you got to have yeah. a break. Nothing should be done every day unless it's a challenge, unless it's something that you don't want to be doing. Mm. That's the thing you do every day. You can't... I just can't see at me ever getting to a stage again in life where I do something... Where I'm letting myself do whatever the fuck I want to do because there's been nothing better than setting myself challenges. Mm. Discipline's so fucking important. I can't describe it enough. I can't say it enough. Yeah. Discipline is so important. If you start saying, which is why it's a it's a off topic, but people who practice a religion like Muslim, Islamic, who don't allow themselves to eat like a uh, pig. And people who are like uh, from like a Sikh culture who don't allow themselves to eat beef, all these things, it's not necessarily against their religion because God wouldn't want them to do it because like you're gonna go to hell if you do it. It's it it kind of is, but it's kind of not. It's about not allowing yourself to be. It's all practice. It's practicing not being your own boss. It's practicing surrendering to an idea. It's surrendering to like. The thought of your own ego taking over. You're setting yourself limitations. No, this world is not all about whatever I can consume whenever I want to consume it. Set yourself barriers. And by doing that, you're practicing the idea of like, there's a higher power and I'm trying to practice this higher power. And that's why I respect people who don't eat certain foods. Mm. Like vegetarian even. As I think I, it's funny to make jokes at vegans because, you know, they're all weird. <laughs> but that's just a coincidence. You know, yeah. it's a... It's kind of a coincidence that all vegans are weird. It's almost like I I really think limiting yourself to what you should what you want to be doing is so healthy for the mm. brain. So healthy, bro. We're not meant to be we live in a weird time, bro. We live in a time where it's like you have everything you want whenever you want it. The two examples of this that Jordan Peterson says is Amazon and and porn. Mm. But other than those two like, they will give you everything you could ever want whenever you want it. You order it to your house or you get the sensations from watching. Because of this day and age, we are not trying to get anything. Everything's just coming to us. There's something seriously <laughs> important about trying. I think fucking... That's all I have to say about that. <laughs> <laughs> Very professional. <laughs> Yeah, I could just see myself about to go in another loop. Now that I'm about to say the same thing again. No, wait, wait. Say this no, that's good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. So this year, you've gotten into NRL. Are you still watching or taking I, a break? I am honestly not watching very many games. Mm. I'm not. I love watching them. I'll always check the scores on mm. KO, but I don't watch them too often. Mm. I obviously watch the Origin. Yeah. I watch the second half. Fucking, I'll sleep them for the first. What a horrible half. game. <laughs> it was a bit sad. I was really starting to be like, oh wow, wow, wow. Yeah. And then it got pretty, pretty shit. But I really, f I love a lot of the players in the Queensland team, bro. I love a lot of them. <laughs> obviously, it sucks that they're in Queensland, but, but I think, 
Yeah, I don't really watch too many of the mm. games, but I'm starting to understand the game a lot more. Yeah. I'm understanding the players, what they're good at. It's a good. I love. I love. I really. I'm really glad mm. I started watching it. Yeah. Yeah, it's been yeah. good. Yeah. Because I know, like, you started getting into it a bit more before, I guess. But mm. Mm. I just don't have the time to watch mm. that much shit, dude. I don't have fucking any time to watch. I don't know shit. how you have time to do anything. You can just go, go, go. We're so busy. Yeah, I know. It's a bit crazy, and I want to start taking on more shit again too. Mm. I want to start. I'm not training at all at the moment. Yeah. I'm just, oh, so what's going on with that? There's nothing, bro. There's no. no training, no time. I've been doing big hours for mm. fucking weeks and weeks and weeks in a row now, which I, again, I'm not complaining. Mm. I, I enjoy it. I just had to sacrifice exercise. Yeah. Which is, you know, something that's not going to be an issue forever. Mm. I know August we have new projects coming on, so I can focus on training again more. Yeah. I want to get six pack. That's what I want. That's yeah. All I, yeah, because you were swimming a lot, like, every day. Yeah, every day. Did you miss that? I do miss that, yeah. too, because I went back to the pool again once because I yeah. thought I was going to have more free time. Turns out I only had that one day. And I had to go and start my 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 uh, thing again. Mm. So I was doing one lap a day every day extra. I got to, like, 30 laps or maybe more. I have a book written down somewhere mm. in my journal. But then I had to go back and restart. I'm like, I can't do 30 <laughs> laps. I had to start again from, like, five. So, do you reckon it's less motivating because it's winter and it's a bit cold? Nah, nah, mm-hmm. not at all, not at all. I don't mind the cold water. Mm. It's actually all right too. You're in the you're in the water. You might be cold for like three seconds, if mm. that, two seconds. It's the cold shower that kills you. Because <laughs> before you jump in the pool, I always have a cold shower. Yeah. So it's like you think, yeah, it's about I'll jump in the water to be sweet. Nah, I stand under the cold water, drown myself in fucking cold. And then I jump in the pool and it heats mm-hmm. me up. That's it's all right. Yeah. But yeah, I do miss exercise. I really do. What about you and your exercise, mate? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I do Where a lot. Is that of, meant to happen. Uh, I do a lot of walking at work. <laughs> I walk to work from the metro. Oh, so you do what a normal human should do? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I should start doing some exercise though. Golf doesn't count. <laughs> Where's the butt? But I'm too lazy. <laughs> yeah, but I'm not going to. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, you've been into um, reading, mm. getting your bookshelf going, and I promise you that I was going to start reading a book. Yes, yes. Thank you for bringing this up. You know what? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. You have to read that book. You have to read that book. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The yeah. sad thing is... I was at the shops and I was looking at the bookshop and I was like, yeah, another day. <laughs> you all, there you go. That Damn, copy is yours. Sick. That copy is yours. It's a really easy read, but mm. I promise you for all of the books I've read, that's one of the easiest. It's one of the easiest. There's a couple more I've got to add to it. Oh God, I read this book this week. <laughs> God. Oh, God. Everyone has to read it. It's got the best ending. Oh, <laughs> my God. Oh, my God. I posted it on Instagram. You haven't got Instagram, so you wouldn't have seen it. This is the caption I wrote. Because I've been, I want to try and get into a habit of posting the books just so I can recommend yep. anything that I think is good. Mm. This is a little photo of the book. And then underneath I wrote, just finished this book. I nearly killed myself, not going to lie. For those who have heard of it, trust me, it's not what it seems. If it was any longer, I would have ran myself a bath, got inside it, brought a toaster in with me and turned it on. Because fuck me. It was fucked. It was fucked, dude. I had like 200 pages or something Mm. like that, like 170 pages to go. And I'm like, I have to get this done today. I can't (laughs) read this past today. So I had to just sit there and suck it up and finish it that day. Fuck, oh, I'm so glad it's over. Not even going to give a shout out to what the book was. It's <laughs> fucking, it was fucked. Because yeah. when you called me at the start and you were telling me about it, and then you called me at the end and told me the ending, I was like, Eminem, a little son, Zan or whatever it was. I was like, what? <laughs> yeah. It was just a stupid book, bro. A stupid book. It doesn't deserve any rec- recollection for it. Um, the next book I want to read, I bought two more. I'm reading a book now called Mastery. Mm-hmm. Um, it's basically about three steps to a successful life, you can mm-hmm. kind of say. One is to find an apprenticeship and really, really try. Mm-hmm. It doesn't just have to be a literal apprenticeship. It just yeah. has to be learning a new skill. Mm-hmm. Second is devoting a lot of hours towards that skill. Mm-hmm. And the third is becoming a master of that skill. And that's mm-hmm. spending time to put your own 
touch on it, you know, mm-hmm. taking everything you've learned and adding to the craft, mm-hmm. which is a great thing to think of because that's how we have everything. Mm-hmm. That's how trades have become trades. That's how music has become music and, and fucking sports have become sports because mm-hmm. people have just copied what's been done first, perfected it, and then improved it. Mm-hmm. And then the next generation can do the same thing. And that's why everything gets better. People get faster. Fights go for longer. Mm-hmm. Like, it's fucking amazing. So... I think that it will be a good read. It started off in the beginning about Leonardo DiCaprio, not Leonardo DiCaprio, he's the actor. Leonardo da Vinci, mm. he's the um, painter. Talks about his life in the beginning, so it's it's interesting. I think it'll be a good book, but yeah, it's always I'm always trying to add another book to the mm. show. I'm always trying. Yeah. Yeah. It takes time, mm. but reading. Do you reckon you'll ever start fighting again? Oh thought about this a lot and i think no i think no if i was to start doing any form of physical contact it would be jujitsu yeah jujitsu i don't have the time for fighting when i do have the time for fighting i'll be older i don't think i want to be getting punched in the head when i'm older i think i'd rather just fucking wrestle Mm. yeah when i was watching um episode one this week i realized like at the beginning there was a lot of like fighting you know, a yeah. lot like fight based podcast. Yeah, yeah. Full drifted. Yeah, full drifted, bro. <laughs> so just lost interest or? I didn't lose interest. Time. I lost time. Mm. Like I had to pick one or the other. Like yeah. I realized in the beginning, I thought I could do everything. Mm. I can't do everything. It's yeah. too hard. I can do everything. I'm lying. <laughs> I can do everything. I'm not yet strong enough to create this mm. strong disciplinary team that needed to do everything. Mm. If I have my own business, I run my own schedule, I can create my own times, then I'll be in a position where I don't have to work 10, 11 hour shifts. Yeah. I could work four hour shifts. And then I can include two hours of jujitsu, two hours of training, two hours of boxing. Like the day could be much more well orchestrated, but working a full-time job that has flexible hours, it's very hard to do mm. a sport, very fucking hard to do a sport. Yeah. At least things like podcasting, reading, journaling, exercising, all these things, they're flexible. Mm-hmm. Boxing is 6 p.m., you know? Striking is at 7 p.m., sparring is on Wednesdays. Jiu-Jitsu starts at fucking 4, 4, 4.30, 7.30, 8.30. 30. Even classes like yoga, if you want to get into yoga, you have to go for the free 30 p.m. Mm-hmm. classes or the 9 a.m. classes. How the fuck does anyone even do it? <laughs> you know what I mean? It's fucking bullshit yeah. that people even do it. So... This is not something that I can do at the moment. Boxing. Sad, but no point in fucking complaining. Mm-hmm. Because if I wanted to, I could change my life to suit it. But I'm just more happy doing the life I'm doing now mm-hmm. than I would be doing it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, fair enough. Good question. Good question, though. Good question. Well, I really wanted to um, make this podcast about you mm. and just hear all the things you have to say and think mm. you now to do really well. Fuck yeah. Thanks, bro. Thanks. I it's 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 weird because like I always feel like I'm talking anyway. Mm. You know what I mean? Right. But no one it's, it's it's interesting being in the seat to have people ask you questions. Yeah. 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 Fuck yeah. Well, I got one last question. <laughs> one last question. All right. All I want to know is you've asked a lot of people. I want you to tell me what advice would you give to someone who's feeling a little bit depressed or just lost? Fuck, dude. Well done. Well done asking the question. Well done. You've heard it from 39 people now. Mm. I'd like to hear what you... 39... I've heard it from 37 people 37, now. Yeah. 37 people I'd now. I'd like to hear 36. what you have to say about that. Well, I do think about it a lot. The reason I do ask the question, which I do state every single episode, is because it's just in case someone wants to hear it. Obviously, through my own experience and everyone else's experience, everyone feels it although it's not something that's talked about enough and because it's not talked about enough i think that we are missing a big part of what society needs and that's just like acceptance of it where it's like oh you got it right now that's cool i think of it as if it's a a life form that is trying like a virus imagine depression's like a virus Mm. and it enters one person's body and then through that person's body other people can catch it because you can put out your negative feelings. It's trying to grow. So then other people catch this virus. This person might have gained the natural immunity to get out of it, but now someone else has picked it up. And it's just, it's a constant thing like COVID. And it's like, if we don't talk about it 
and we don't figure out the solutions for the problem, it's always going to exist. Mm -hmm. So if we just accept that it exists and then work on what we need to do, not just under professional help, but in friends and family and fucking community, then I think we can learn how to tackle it and maybe one day it will never exist. Mm -hmm. But it needs to be it needs to be beaten. There needs to be antibiotics to beat that virus. So everyone's given me a different complicated answer, which has been good. It's definitely helped me be able to have better advice. Although I think that the one thing that I've taken away that most people say is it is a two part question. I think being lost is the first thing to address. And that's okay because I think, and I don't think I've heard anyone else say this, but I do believe everyone is lost. Like feeling depressed because you're lost shouldn't be the reason you're feeling depressed because every single person, doesn't matter if it's your grandparents, whether it's your parents, whether it's your friends, your family, or even yourself, no one knows what the fuck is happening ever. Everyone's just winging it. Parents are just kids with kids. Grandparents are just kids with kids with kids. And, you know, the richest person in the world hasn't got any more of an idea mm. of what the fuck is happening and what to do than the poorest person in the world. So it's okay to be lost. And when you are lost, you're almost in a good position because then it's like you don't have the responsibility yet. The responsibility is good and the pressure is good and the purpose is good. But when you don't have it, you're free to find whatever it is. So it's the first part of the question. And the second part is about being depressed. And I think the reason a lot of people are depressed is because people are spending a lot of time trying to do things that make them happy. I think that that is necess definitely the wrong way to be living your life. You, we shouldn't be trying to do things that make us happy. Being happy is actually really, really easy to do. I've mentioned it a few times through this episode, like, pornography, junk food, drinking, drugs, fucking video games. There's a million things. Smashing a whole pack of Tim Tams like I did before you came over. <laughs> There's a million things that can make you feel what you think would make you feel happy, but it doesn't actually change anything. And for the most part, it makes you feel worse. So instead of trying to do things that make you feel happy, I try and live my life by doing things that make me feel proud. That's why everything's a challenge. I don't have time to be depressed most importantly because i there's no time to sit around and worry about what needs to be done or whether i'm doing the right thing or will away on what i think someone's thinking of me because there's a thing that i'm trying to get done on top of that being proud is something that will last forever mediocre things like drugs alcohol tv and all these other mm -hmm. bullshit that make you happy they last what a minute to an hour depending on how big the feeling of dopamine is but being proud of something will last until you die. So if you set yourself a goal, even if it's one extra push-up today, another day without jerking off, whether it's reading an extra book or running further than you've ever ran, it could be getting a promotion at work, it could be spending more time with your friends, spending more time with your family, setting up a second savings account, anything that you know will make you feel proud later, that's what I think that everyone should be trying to live their life by. Do not worry about what makes you feel happy. Only do things that you think will make you feel proud. And if you do that, I think that that would be the cure to what a lot of people's depression would be. So that would be my answer. <laughs> that was amazing. <laughs> what a great response. Thank you. Right. I've had a few weeks to, yeah. to think about it while other people are talking. So that's what I've come up with so far. Yeah. Right. I mean, every like week when I hear everyone else's response, always wanted to know what yours is that <laughs> well, that, that's what it is today <laughs> well, the only thing that i do know is that in the future i will not think the same way yeah. i think now <laughs> so in a years from now you can ask me again just swinging it <laughs> <laughs> yeah I'm, I'm just trying <laughs> yeah yeah so episode 80 100 percent. we'll have to lock this in you're going to be that i'm not saying you're not going to be on before then <laughs> but we'll ask each other the same questions and right. yeah we'll see yeah, what happens well, yeah. Thank you for being on my swapcast. <laughs> <laughs> nah, thank you, bro. Thank you very much. Thank you for everyone listening who made it to the end of the episode. I think Nixie did a great job of hosting this episode. <laughs> I really, really do. For those who don't see, there will not be a compilation of all the things that he said wrong. <laughs> That's just for me and him. <laughs> nah, I'm just joking. He didn't fuck anything up. I think, what time is it anyway? It's been a good, been a good chunk. Mm. It's been a good chunk. So... You did a great job sitting in the seat, thank bro. You, I, I, I really appreciate it. You did a great job. And 
everyone, until next time. That's a wrap. That's a wrap. <laughs> Charlie, catch a vibe, yeah, I had to put her on. Bought a two-seater, yeah, we headed for the sun. Charlie got my high, I ain't trippin' for the fun. Yeah, I won't start, I ain't trippin', I'm a stun. Oh.